Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Boston University's Nickerson Field. Some of you old-timers out there, Braves Field. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock before this game starts. Both teams are on the field. They're both looking good. Uh, injuries are fine. Uh, some important statistics in this game. Defensively, you got to look for on the North Quincy side is Dave Reinhardt. He has a total of 23 sacks this year. He's been immense on the defense and also offensively a big tight end. Caught a big pass on Thanksgiving Day. On offense, you got Liam Higgins, 9 TD passes, 39 points, over 1,400 yards passing on offense. Uh, has rushed also for four TDs. And uh, they've been talking about uh, Bobby McLaughlin, the big back from Arlington, uh, with 850 yards. But on North Quincy's side, four backs have over 600 yards each. So, I mean, that's a backfield for you today. Uh, so if one guy gets hurt, you got another guy come right in there and do his job. Uh, points far in this game, uh, North Quincy coming in all season, 188 points with 18.8 points per game, 68 on defense, that's 6.8 per game, that's one uh, two tenths less than a touchdown per game. They were the champs in the old colony at 10 and 0. On the Arlington, the Arlington Spy Ponders come in here 9 and 1, they were the greater Boston League champions. Uh, on offensively, look for number 14, Timmy Hirsch, he had 10 touchdown passes with 842 in the air. Bobby McLaughlin as I said, over uh, 800 yards a share. He missed three games also. And on defense, look for Brian Patterson. Uh, he's a 6'4", 220 uh, defensive end. Uh, on offense for them, they scored 215 points. And if uh, that's an average of 21.5 per game. And on defense, 68, just like the uh, North Quincy Red Raiders, 6.8 a game. They are starting defense. have only given up 10, five TDs for their starting D all year. But on the uh, defense for North Quincy, the three out of their last five games have been shut out. So this could be a big defensive game as well as offensively. The only thing we can do uh, putting these two teams together to see how they uh, fare against each other, they both played Acton Boxborough this year earlier. Uh, North Quincy played them first week. Uh, they were 21 to 19 win. Uh, the second week, Arlington played Acton Boxborough, and they were 17 to six victors. So that's the only thing we can have on comparison-wise. At the end of this game, uh, the winner there'll be a winner trophy, also a consolation trophy. So that'll be immediately following the game. You'll be seeing that, and you ask yourself if there's a tie. Well, this is the way we do it here. There's going to be 11 minute quarters today. If a tie occurs, each team will have a possession of four downs, and they'll start from their 10 yard line. And uh, if they can't get it, if they can't get a score, field goal or whatever it is, they can't get a score. The game will end in a tie. So there'll be only four possessions. Uh, they'll be 10 yards out from the uh, from the end zone. They can uh, easily kick a field goal or go in for the six points. So that's how it'll be happening. And another thing, folks, uh, you've been wondering. Uh, people have been saying bits and pieces of the number one. Why North Quincy has that in the air? It's not because uh, they're number one. It's because of uh, little Danny Gilmartin, who passed away uh, on May 27th. Uh, he's been a dear friend of North Quincy and of uh, Mr. Kenny McPhee, head coach, uh, for the past five years, always been on the sidelines. And uh, he wore the number one uh, jersey, and uh, they retired it with, with uh, little Tommy. And that's why number one that they hold in the air this year is dedicated to Tommy Gilmartin. And uh, God bless you, Tommy. And I know you're looking down at us today and uh, going to give this uh, a big helping hand for the North Quincy Red Raiders. Well, we're going to send it up to Charlie Ross, uh, Tom Fitzgerald, and John Nicholson for today's ball game. This is Mike Tucker, the pregame show. We'll be back periodically during the game and halftime and, of course, at the end of the game. Good luck to North Quincy and head coach Ken McPhee and to everybody out there that's been viewing us all year. This is Mike Tucker for QCTV in Quincy for Continental Cable. everybody it is a combination of sunshine with snow flurries but the field here at nickerson field in great shape and the north quincy red raiders are down on the home sidelines in front of us and we're waiting for the spy ponders of arlington to make their way out of the locker room at the walter brown arena and uh, we'll have the kickoff in just a few moments john nicholson is uh, down on the field and let's uh, go down quickly to john and uh, get an assessment assessment uh, of the AstroTurf. John, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie. Thank you very much. And uh, the AstroTurf is a little wet, 
but it is does not appear to be slippery. There appears to be good footing uh, down here. I've talked to a couple of the players and to Coach Ken McPhee, and uh, they don't think the uh, field is in bad condition at all. We're looking forward to a tremendous game this morning. Uh, the North Quincy Red Raiders are sky high. Uh, they've got a lot of spirit going for them this morning, and we've seen an awful lot of people from Quincy in the stands as we walk down here, including Mayor James Sheets and uh, Ward 1 Councillor uh, Peter Colson. So uh, we're looking forward to a good game, Charlie, and we have permission from the referee to go out uh, to center field when they uh, toss the coin. So we'll go out there uh, when you send it back down. Okay, thank you very much, John Nicholson. My broadcast partner, Tom Fitzgerald, has uh, investigated uh, both teams. And, uh, Tom, uh, looking at uh, both squads, uh, North Quincy and Arlington, how do you see the matchup of this morning's game? Well, I see a pretty even matchup here, Charlie. Uh, it's, uh, it's, they say the field is fast today. There's nothing wrong with it. The uh, sun was out for a little while, so everybody should be going full guns. Uh, the only one that's a little uh, started and doubtful from North Quincy is Sean Nee. He had a bad ankle from Thanksgiving, <coughs> but they say he might play a little bit so not Quincy uh, is at full strength and so is in Arlington now as far as seeing this game I think you're going to see uh, two great teams both great defensive teams going at each other and of course uh, North Quincy uh, can run at you and they can pass at you they they got a great quarterback in Lime Higgins he can put that ball in the air and I think he's going to do that today and of course with uh, with Arlington they got a big strong front line and they got a great quarterback in Tim Hirsch who can throw the ball they use a lot of play action passes uh, they run out of a uh, solid front uh, they split their ends once in a while and go to uh, double out uh, to the left to the right uh, uh, so they can throw the ball and they, as I say they throw a lot of play action passes so they get a very diversified offense but they play pretty steady football they got a great program at Arlington they're well coached and uh, I think they're gonna come right at uh, right at North Quincy's defense today but going over the other side North Quincy's got an outstanding uh, uh, defense uh, they I could name everybody on that defensive line and backfield uh, both teams are going to be tested especially North Quincy with that play action passing of Arlington they really have haven't been tested outside of Taunton this year on passing, so uh, they're going to be under the gun. Their defense, I think, on the passing game, and so is an Arlington. The only team that's passed against Arlington this year is Revere, so uh, they haven't been tested on the passing either. So I think that's going to be one heck of a ball game, and there's a great crowd from North Quincy here. As you say, the stands are almost almost full right now. So uh, here we go. And the uh, two teams uh, down on the field, and I think we're going to uh, get down on the field. Uh, as uh, the North Quincy High School Band has uh, lined up to the end zone to our left, the uh, closed end zone here at Boston University's Nickerson Field. And uh, they're going to uh, march out to the 50-yard uh, line and uh, we'll uh, have the national anthem in uh, just a moment. You're tuned to AM 1300 WJDA, Quincy, Massachusetts. Glad you've joined us for this Division 1B Super Bowl matchup this afternoon. Zaverian of Brockton will do battle here at BU's Nickerson Field for the Division 1A championship. But uh, this should be an outstanding game. These two teams have uh, played in the uh, past years, uh, not this year, not the last uh, few years. Last two meetings were both won by Arlington back in the late 80s. Now the North Quincy Band uh, is moving to the middle of the field and playing the North Quincy High School fight song. And uh, let's listen to the North Quincy Band. Charlie, uh, very interested today as you and I walk back after the field after coming up to the booth. Uh, how many North Quincy fans are here, and uh, all the, stu the good good student body turnout, and a lot of uh, the old-time football players. I saw many familiar faces in the crowd from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, right up. So this uh, this game means a lot to the uh, uh, people in North Quincy area. So it's a it's a great crowd today, and uh, as we say, I think they they're behind this North Quincy team 100%, and as sure as Arlington is on the other side. And now our national anthem.
Rich Keneally directing the North Quincy High School Band with our national anthem. We'll take a 30-second timeout and then be back with a coin toss. like 9.32 recently, running with Billy Shot in a one-some road race out in Colorado. Nickerson Field, the captains are just about set to go out to the middle of the field. Pat Shea, Mark Sinclair, Dave Reinhardt, and Liam Higgins for the North Quincy Red Raiders. And following them out is John Nicholson. John, it's all yours. Okay, Charlie, thank you very much. And we are out here at the center of uh, BU's Nickerson Field, and we will be with you through the tossing of the coin. The referee is now entering, introducing himself to the co-captains of the Arlington Spy Ponders, and uh, in turn, we'll turn around and introduce the co-captains to each other. And and uh, then we will have the toss of the coin. Um, coming up momentarily, we'll just turn it right over to the referee. Okay, guys, before we start, I want to introduce the other officials today. The umpire, Mr. Cacciatore. Linesman, Mr. Pearson. The back judge, Mr. D'Amato. And the field judge, Mr. McDonald. Okay, you guys ready to play football today? It's going to be a great day for football. Two championship teams. Play like them, okay? Arlington, you're the visiting team. Who's going to call it? Okay. I'll throw it in the air. If I drop it, we'll do it again. Call it in the air. Heads. Heads he calls. Heads it is. Your option for a second half. You want to defer to the second half. Your option to kick, receive, or defend a goal. You want to receive. Which goal do you want to defend? Put your backs over that way. Not too many backs. There you have it, Charlie, the toss of the coin. It was won by Arlington. Uh, they are deferring until the second half. So North Quincy will get the ball. They will be defending the goal to my right, which is the open end towards the Mass Turnpike. And back up to you guys. All right, thank you very much, John. And uh, don't get caught in the players down there. John Magnarelli is the uh, referee uh, down there. And uh, you heard the introduction of uh, the other officials. So the North Quincy Red Raiders will go on offense. And we'll see Pat Shea, Dan Duncan, the wide receivers, Brian Raftery at tight end, Pete Lachardi, Mike Linane, the tackles, Dave Pacino, and Justin Dilks, the guard center, is Nick Mastro Giacomo, Liam Higgins, the quarterback. We look for Sean Skane to start at tailback. Sean Knee injured in the Quincy game, may see some limited action, and the fullback will be Mark Sinclair. For the Spy Ponders of Arlington, they will uh, come out this way. Their ends are Sean Skanda at one side, Andy Jones at the other. The tackles are Jeff Hayes and Brian Patterson. Nose guard will be Roger Ty. The linebackers are Joe Covino, Greg Muscatel. The left corner is Adam Muscatel, right corner Brian Donovan, Doug Smith the free safety, and Shane McNeil is the strong safety. North Quincy in their home uniforms, they had the better record. That's the determining factor. They were undefeated during the regular season, 10-0. Arlington comes in at 9-1, so North Quincy, the home team, occupying the stands uh, in front of us and the bench in front of us, Arlington, with their head coach, John Henley, over on the far side, wearing their white uniforms with tan pants and uh, silver helmets. North Quincy predominantly wearing uh, black with the white numerals and the black helmets uh, with the arrowhead and the NQ on the side. And back deep is uh, Tony Lachardi and Pat Shea for the North Quincy Red Raiders. The kickoff will come from Brian Donovan, North Quincy, defending the goal to our right. That is the goal toward the Massachusetts Turnpike, if you will. Glad you've joined us for this Super Bowl game between the Arlington Spy Ponders and the North Quincy Red Raiders. The ball is in the air and we are underway. 11 minute quarters. It is Lachardi at his own 11. He gives it to Reinhardt around the end. He cuts up the middle and he gets to the 24 yard line. As North Quincy did a little razzle dazzle as Lachardi handed it off to uh, Dave Reinhardt to uh, 
maybe had a bit of a chance to uh, bust that one for big yardage, Tom. Yes, he did. They work on that all week, that return. It's a reverse. They go to the left side. They hand off over here to Lashati, and uh, he just had one more man take it out in the block, and he would have had the sideline free and clear. So it was, it's a really exciting first play out here today, Charlie. Liam Higgins. At quarterback, calling signals, just has one man in the backfield. Dan Duncan is wide to the left. Higgins has the ball on the right hash mark. Line of scrimmage, his own 25, wide out to the right. Now tight end, Raftery moves off the line of scrimmage, comes in motion, and the handoff to the tailback, and no gain, nothing doing as there were white jerseys all over the place as mark sinclair was taken down and it will be second down adam muscatel making the stop among others for this spy ponder squad well what's happening out here now i can see it right off in the beginning uh uh, Arlington is respecting the North Quincy's uh, left side of the line, which would be their right. They moved over, they shift over their lineman one, almost one whole uh, notch to, to stop that ball carrier from going, going to the left side. North Quincy in the last two games is run, running left-handed all the time. Tony Lachardi to the right, Duncan left. It is second down for the North Quincy Red Raiders and 10. Ball at their own 25-yard line. Higgins drops straight back, looking to throw. Has the protection, looking for Duncan, and it's in and out of his hands at his own 45-yard line. Duncan was one-on-one -on -one with Adam Muscatel, and it went right through his hands at his own 45, and it will be third and long for the Red Raiders. Nice pass, but right in his hands. Uh, he ducked down the sideline. He just... Uh, just couldn't hang on it, uh, trying to do a type rot, uh, uh, right running down that sideline, and he just couldn't hang on to that ball. But uh, North Quincy had good protection. Higgins had good protection on that uh, pass then. Just a minute <coughs> played in this first quarter. Higgins with a third and 10 from his own 25. Duncan left, and uh, now Higgins is asking for timeout. So North Quincy takes time with uh, 10 minutes to go first quarter. We are scoreless and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Okay, he doesn't have that uh, killer instinct. He like that. He's a great skier though. You don't see him with that. You can go watch and back club. here at BU's Nickerson uh, Field, <coughs> in addition to our live radio broadcast today, uh, Channel 3 in Quincy is videotaping this game, and uh, it will be shown at some point next uh, week. I'm not sure what, uh, what the schedule will be. And I'll have to ask uh, John Nicholson. He's down there with uh, Mike Tucker. If he brought the disclaimer or if I'm going to have to uh, uh, remember it uh, from off the top of my head, we'll, uh, we'll have to check on that. You have to read a disclaimer during this game. It's third and ten for the Red Raiders. Their own 25-yard line wing, double wing formation on each side. Higgins spins, passes to Shea. Back at his 18, to the 20, to the 25. And Pat Shea is bumped out of bounds at about his own 27-yard line. Stop made by Randy Paello for the Spy Ponders of Arlington. So only a gain of uh, three. Make it four up to the 29-yard line, and North Quincy will be forced to punt it away. That was a nice screen pass out here, but Arlington's defense uh, recovered very quickly and uh, held it to only a two or three yards. So uh, the, this Arlington team looks pretty fast on their feet defensively. They get to the football very well. As he ran out of room, just watching uh, the slow-mo replay. Nice job down in the truck. Higgins to punt. Gets it at the 15, punts it away. Line driver going to get a return out of this taken at the 42-yard line around the end. 45 and slipping and falling is Joe Baranelli at the 49-yard line. But we've got a penalty uh, it's flag. Gonna be a clip there. It's going to be definitely a clip. There's somebody got their legs taken right out from underneath them. Boy, that was a vicious clip down uh, uh, right on the 45-yard uh, line. So that will move uh, the spy ponders back. That would have given them pretty good field position. It's nothing, nothing. We'll be back in 30 seconds. How long ago was that? When they went to the Super Bowl, what was that? 70 sometime? It was the last time? Yeah, who was their kicker? Um, that, I remember that was a big difference. They had a guy who could punt. You know, all of a sudden, they had a walk on it. It was a big guy who could punt. They had a goalie. And he could he kick the field goal to the win. They don't have, I mean, they had Leone a couple of years after. I mean, it's rare you have a guy who kicks field goals consistently. Here we go, guys. See what I do.
it back, Colleen Signals hands it off to Bob McLaughlin. His back line of scrimmage was the 35. He gets it for one to the 36 yard line as he hit the middle of the North Quincy line. Dave Pacino in there along with Mike Lenane to make the stop for the Red Raiders defensively. Dave Reinhardt, Eric Delore, the ends. The tackles uh, are Mike Lenane, Justin Dilks, Nose, Dave Pacino, Brian Raftery, Sean Halpin, the linebackers, Sean Skein, Nathan Gott, Sean Heron, Mark Sinclair, Tony Licciardi, you'll all see them in the backfield as well. On second down and nine, Hirsch, hand off to the tailback in trouble, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage as Dave Reinhardt stopped him along with Brian Raftery as Bob McLaughlin was hit and was fortunate to get back to his line of scrimmage, his own 36-yard line. It'll be third down for the Spy Ponders and eight. Boy, that uh, defensive line on North Quincy is playing right up to expectations again. They had uh, two, three men in the backfield. Uh, uh, 75, the middle guard, was right in there, too, on that uh, tackle. So uh, I think you're going to have to see the Spy Ponders now. They're going to have to try their air game a little bit. I formation, wing to the right, no wide receivers. Now the wing comes in motion. Shea picks up uh, the pursuit on him. Flag is down. North Quincy's going to have a penalty here. They throw a pass complete to the 45-50, and it'll be a first down for Arlington as they threw a pass out of the backfield complete to Andy Jones in North Quincy territory. And we'll see what uh, the call will be, but it uh, should be offside against uh, North Quincy, and it is. Yep. The penalty will be declined, and it will be an Arlington first down in North Quincy territory. Well, that uh, ball was caught. The man, the man that caught it went right in motion from the right side across to the left side <coughs> and just did a little flare out to the, to the flat and caught the ball, had the secondary uh, just caught him behind him and uh, picked up some good yardage in the first down. So that was a break for, for Arlington on that one. North Quincy is pretty anxious up on that line. They, you know, they let him get across that line of scrimmage, but they got to put themselves under control and not get any penalties. Shea on the coverage, North Quincy, a 17-yard pickup. Arlington has the ball, first down, and 10. Hirsch calling signals. This time he has three wide receivers going to the right. One man in the backfield. He gets the handoff the fullback and he is down to about the 43 yard line is uh, Andy Jones and it will be second down. So right now, uh, Tom, for Arlington, they've shown the three wide receivers, but it's been uh, nothing more than a decoy. Now, they haven't thrown out there yet, but they will. And, of course, that spreads that north defense. They want to spread them and then try to run inside them, but they haven't too, had too great a success yet. So uh, I think they're going to have to go outside and pass a little bit. But they'll keep pounding at that middle until something gives. Pick up a four. It's second down and six. Donovan, the wing, goes in motion. Hirsch, play action. Fake rushes on. He gets it away. And it is batted away, incomplete. Good coverage by North Quincy as Bill Scoodle was all over the quarterback, Hirsch, as uh, the ball was uh, thrown out and batted away. <coughs> Excuse me, I believe it was Tony Lachardi that batted it away, but uh, Scoodle right in Hirsch's face, and uh, he threw that one away. Uh, <laughs> really didn't have much of a choice, or he was going well, to take the sack. He sure did. You couldn't, couldn't express it any better right in his face, and uh, he, he just had his hands up, and he just threw a, a ruptured duck right up there, up for grabs. I formation, wide out left, wide out right. Third down and six. Here comes the rush once again. Ball is fumbled. It's North Quincy ball. As Hirsch was hit, fumble the football, and the Red Raiders recover as Eric Delore, Delore falls yeah. on it. It is North Quincy ball. First quarter, we are scoreless back in 30 seconds. up to the line of scrimmage, I formation, 
Ball at the Arlington 49-yard line. Two wide receivers are to the right. Higgins hands it off to his tailback, Skane. Skane trying for some yards. Very difficult. He got maybe to the 48. That is about all. One yard as a very difficult working right up the middle on this Arlington line. And, uh, well, they give him two, so yeah, we'll lucky. call it second down and eight. Eric Ramstrom. Between Tom and uh, myself uh, today, Eric, an account executive with uh, WJDA. If you want to buy ads, call Eric. Uh, <laughs> he's doing statistics for us today, doing a fine job. Second down and eight. 6.52 to go. First quarter, no score. Arlington North Quincy here at Nickerson Field. Same formation. Uh, now the two wideouts go to the right hand off to the fullback. Straight ahead down for a couple to the 45-yard line. And it will set up a third and long as Mark Sinclair with the two yards. Well, actually, uh, it's pretty tough to run up on there for North Queens. They try to trap then uh, to the left side, then they try to just a, a quick straight hand off to the right side in the first play. But looking at that Darlington defense, they're playing a 6-3. They get everybody rolled up. So actually, they're facing nine men up on that scrimmage on first and second down. I'm sure now they'll change it on a passing situation as North comes out here on trips left. As Lachardi is out wide along with uh, Shea. And I believe uh, Reinhardt and uh, now the pitch goes to Sinclair. Sinclair cuts to the outside, now back inside. He appears to be shy of first down yardage as he was brought down at about the 40 yard line of Arlington. Tripped up uh, at that spot by Doug Smith of the Spy Ponders and uh, they are a yard shy. It'll be fourth down. Let's see what uh, coach Ken McPhee is uh, going to come up with. Well, they tried, they tried the quick pitch out to the left side right over here near the booth, but uh, uh, he started out to the left. He saw a little uh, little avenue inside, a little lane inside, and cut it up very nicely and picked up good yardage. But as you say, they're about a, a good yard, and I say a good yard short of a, of a first down right now. Well, let's see if Higgins calls his own number. I with a slot, full house backfield. And now we get a whistle, and uh, let's see who called. The timeout, it'll be Arlington timeout. 5.17 to go, first quarter. Scoreless football game. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Back here, uh, we're uh, looking for uh, John Nicholson and uh, Mike Tucker as uh, they are uh, down uh, on the sideline. And uh, let's uh, send it down, uh, gentlemen. Take it away. What's the atmosphere down there? Atmosphere down here, Charlie, is still a little bit tense. Uh, second possession for Quincy. They're trying to get their first first down. One of the things that uh, has impressed me down here is when North Quincy has been on defense, one of the biggest cheerleaders here on the sidelines has been Liam Higgins. Uh, this kid is really up for this game, and he looks like he's going to have a good one this afternoon, Charlie. All right, thank you much, John. It'll be fourth and a yard for the North Quincy Red Raiders. The ball at the Arlington 41-yard line. Plenty of time to go in uh, this game, certainly, but a very important uh, fourth down for the Red Raiders. Again, they stay in the tight formation with uh, the three backs and the eye. Slot man to the left. Some movement in the spy ponder line trying to get North Quincy offside. Higgins, quarterback sneak, and there is no way he, he even it. got back uh, to the line of scrimmage. <coughs> and it'll be Arlington ball busting through was Shane McNeely they were looking for Higgins and the Arlington defense with the stop and uh, they will take the ball we'll be back in 30 seconds BU, the Spy Ponders go on offense as Tim Hirsch, eight touchdown passes on the air, has an eye formation behind him with a wingman out to the left. 
as he awaits for the officials to give him the go-ahead pitch. Goes to McLaughlin, sweeping left side, and he is taken down as Halpin came in to help trip him up. And uh, the other man that uh, came through was Bill Scoodle that uh, tripped him up. And uh, that'll be a loss of two. Second down and 12. Once again, the North Quincy defense coming up big. Now they're going to that side. Uh, of course, you know who's over there. And they, they're going to run that side a couple of times. They're going to be awful disappointed because Mr. Reinhardt, when, he, when he's on that side, he'll just about stop anything that anybody sends that way. As clouds uh, form over here at BU, but uh, all in all, not too bad a day considering the snow that we had last night. Second and 12. Hirsch has his back split now. North Quincy up on defense, handoff to the second man through, and he gets to the 40, to the 42, the 43 yard line, fighting his way for some uh, yardage. And that will be a uh, pickup of about uh, five. That will uh, get rid of uh, the two yard loss and uh, give him three more, and it will uh, set up. A third down for Arlington as Andy Jones picking up five yards. It'll be third and seven. Well, Jones made that mostly on his own. Uh, he didn't have much of a haul. He had two or three North Quincy people hanging on to him, but he, he did a couple of nice spins in there and picked up that uh, that three or four yards that, uh, that they just got. But uh, they're going to have to do more than that in the middle of that North Quincy line to move him out of there. Let's see if they uh, go to the air. Their uh, first down came from the air earlier on. Ball at their own 43-yard line. Wing in motion to the left. Hirsch goes back. Draw play to his tailback, McLaughlin. And he is going to be stopped shy of the first down at the 47-yard line as Dave Pacino came in to uh, bring down McLaughlin. And it will be fourth down. And Arlington will be forced to punt. Now, we would uh, point out that the punter, like North Quincy with uh, Liam Higgins, is the quarterback, Tim Hirsch. And uh, from my understanding, they have excellent special teams. So uh, it is conceivable that uh, Hirsch could uh, take one and run with it at uh, some point in this game. Oop, Gets a high nice. snap from center, fields it, and a short kick. And Shea is going to fair catch it at the 25. So North Quincy will have it at their own 25. 251 to go. First quarter, we're scoreless back in 30 seconds. North Quincy back to pass on first down complete to Reinhardt at the 35, 40, 45, and is tripped up at his own 47-yard line as North Quincy with a completed pass to Dave Reinhardt for 17 yards and their first first down of the football game. Well, a beautiful pass. They had plenty of time to throw it. Reinhardt just came down about 10 yards on the far side of the field, uh, cut out to the sideline, and he hit him right on the numbers, and he picked up about another 5 or 10 yards on his own. So uh, that's what you were just talking about on the break, Charlie. North Quincy uh, wants to get that passing game in gear. Ball at their own 46-yard line, first down and 10. They send the three wide receivers, Lachardi, the deep man, Duncan, next to him. Reinhardt closest to the line. They go to the left, the ball right hash mark. First and 10, Higgins calling signals, just one man in the backfield. Play action fake, he's in trouble and is sacked at the 40 as uh, Higgins, I think, maybe was uh, going to run that one himself, but Shane McNeely followed Higgins and put him down for a seven-yard loss for the Red Raiders. Well, he tried to pull a bootleg. Uh, he sent his people to the right side. He tried to bootleg it over here to the left, but uh, the, the uh, right tackle there just came in and just waited for him, and uh, as, he, as he waggled out to this side, he was right there in his nose and, and made the tackle, so the, they had that play scouted pretty well, but North Quincy does waggle a lot. Uh, uh, and bootleg a lot, so uh, they got to block that man on the waggled side. They they just kind of they leave him open, and uh, he'll stop it every time. Andy Jones making that uh, stop on the last play. It's second down and 16. Higgins back to pass, has the time, now rolls out of the pocket, rolls right, 40, 45 on his feet, and out of bounds at about the 49-yard line is Higgins, as he could not find Reinhardt down the field, and called his own number, swept to the right side, and uh, it will be a, a gain of uh, 
Let's see about uh, eight yards for uh, Liam Higgins, but uh, it will be third and long. Uh, he picked up, uh, he, he set up, and he, uh, he had a clear field out to that right side. Uh, he brought the end, uh, broke contain out there, and uh, the only thing he could do was uh, run out there. And of course, as we say before, he has great speed, and that puts a lot of pressure on the, on the Arlington corners and, and the ends. They've got to stay home. Trips again to the left. It's third and nine. North Quincy ball at their own 47-yard line. Higgins is back to pass. Has the time. Throws long. Looking for Shea. And it is batted up at the 25-yard line and incomplete. Shea was one-on-one -on -one with the defender, Adam Moscatel. They both went up for the ball. Neither came up with it. And it will be fourth down. And North Quincy will be forced to punt. Well, he had that ball up. I think he put a little bit up too high. Uh, and uh, Shane had to kind of wait for it out here, uh, and uh, the uh, Arlington uh, defender was able to get his arm in between. If it was thrown a little lower and a little harder, I think it would have been a touchdown, but he just got to hesitate and wait for it. So, uh, but at least they're airing that ball out, and they're, make, they're putting a threat up to that Arlington sec secondary. And Higgins stands at his own 34-yard line, gets a good snap from center, no rush. And a squib kick, and it's going to bounce at the 20, it taking a North Quincy bounce. Rafferty is down there inside the 10, and it will die at about the seven yard line. That's where Arlington will start. We are scoreless, and we'll be back in 30. And Arlington comes up first down and 10. They have uh, the ball at their own 10-yard line as Hurst drops straight back, looking to throw, looking long, has a receiver, and it is incomplete, and oh, a penalty no. flag oh. that is going to be called against Lachardi for North Quincy on an interference, says uh, Joe Baranelli, the intended receiver, and uh, that... Uh, no way. We're not supposed to uh, <coughs> be questionable here, but uh, that was uh, not interference, and I'm going to watch this on the replay, but they are going to give Arlington a first down. As they say, Lachardi interfered, and it will be first down for the Spy Ponders. And they're going to uh, march it off, and it was not the... Uh, the official who was following the receivers, it was an official uh, further back who uh, didn't have the best view of it that uh, called the penalty. Well, I haven't seen the replay, but from what I can see with my two good eyes, he was he never he never laid a hand on him. He stayed behind him and covered him beautiful. Well, they move the ball out to the 26-yard line where it is first down, so that gets Arlington out of the shadow of their own end zone. I formation, Hirsch calling signals, wing, is to the right. North Quincy linebackers moving up. Play action fake. Hirsch rolls out of the pocket in trouble, throws it out, and just uh, throws it away incomplete as Lachardi uh, <laughs> just uh, gave, uh, gave a little Bardelli push. a little bit of push. Let him know we were there, right? <laughs> and said, now that is what the penalty <laughs> is, but there was no call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So uh, it's an incompleted pass, but Hirsch was uh, running for his life as uh, he had black jerseys <laughs> chasing him out of the pocket and just heaved that one away. Well, what they got there, Charlie, they got an extra official, if you noticed out there. They got a field judge uh, down behind the defensive team, and he's the one that made the call. See, they put an extra official behind that defense today. Second down and 10, handoff straight ahead. Not much there for Andy Jones as he was uh, hit and taken down. Brian Raftery making the stop for North Quincy. Mike Linane also in to help out. And uh, it'll be third down and eight. For the Spy Ponders, we have under a minute, 57 seconds, clock moving here at Nickerson Field to go in this first quarter as uh, it has been a boxing match so far. Both teams just uh, feeling each other out. No serious scoring threats, but... Uh, 
A very hard fought, well played game so far. Third and eight. Hirsch is uh, back to pass instead. He tries to draw a play straight ahead, and they are shy of the first down. Rafferty and Sean Skein, along with uh, Sean Halpin, on the stop. And they're going to be about uh, three yards uh, short. Pickup of, of four on that play, and uh, it'll be fourth down for the Spy Ponders, and there is a penalty flag on the field. Well, you know what's remarkable about that North Quincy defense? They, uh, Arlington just pulled a beautiful drop play. They had a hole a mile wide, and he broke through that hole. But before you know it, from out of nowhere, uh, there were three North Quincy uh, ball, uh, defensive ball players right on him. So their, their foot speed and their quickness, uh, that's what makes this North Quincy defense. They might beat you for a second or two, but they're so quick that they'll recover, and, and uh, they won't let a play go for too much yardage. That's just a complete example there. So I guess there was a penalty, but holding, it was a holding, holding decline. Decline. So uh, Arlington will punt it away. Hirsch will get it away, and either Shea or the Charty, who uh, stand at their own 35-yard line, getting a good snap from center this time, and uh, a low liner looking for it is Shea hit immediately and put down at his own 34-yard line. Good coverage by Brian Donovan, and we have uh, one second to go, so we'll uh, hold it right here. And uh, we'll have one play, and then we will have the uh, end of the quarter. Wind uh, really not much of a factor looking at the flag in the closed end of Nickerson Field, and uh, it is hanging limp. So uh, the wind uh, not uh, appearing to be a factor at uh, this point in the football game. And neither is the field, child. If you, I've only seen one... Uh one back slip out here in the whole in that whole quarter, so the field is in is in good condition and uh, it's not too wet, so they're not slipping around at all out there. Trips to the right, first and ten, North Quincy line of scrimmage, their own 37-yard line. Just one man, Sinclair, behind Higgins in the backfield. As he calls signals, linebackers moving off. Pitch to Sinclair, looking for nice. some blocks. Tries to turn the corner, and he gets up to the 40. Gain of uh, just a couple of yards and is taken down there. And uh, that will do it for the first quarter as we have completed 11 minutes of football. North Quincy and Arlington in a scoreless tie. We'll take a 60-second timeout and be back with the second quarter. We just completed one quarter of play here uh, as it's still 0-0. In the first down department, Arlington Spy Pointers have two to North Quincy's one. Total yardage in that quarter, North Quincy had 47 to 36 for Arlington. Now this quarter here has been a filling out process. Both teams trying their running and passing attacks. Uh, you saw one questionable call by a referee on that. Uh, Kenny McPhee, head coach of North Quincy, a little upset on that. But uh, as it goes here, uh, at the end of 11 minutes, it is 0-0. Only one first down, like I said, for North Quincy and two for the Spy Ponders. We'll be back in just a little while with an update and get back for the second quarter. Okay, thank you, Roy, and we are just about set to start the second quarter, and uh, if John Nicholson finds the TV camera, we'll uh, call him in at the end of this play, get his impressions of the first quarter from down in the field. For the Red Raiders, it is second down and six. North Quincy rushed for 14 yards in the first quarter, and they were two for four for 20 yards in the passing department. I formation. Now, uh, Reinhardt goes in motion to the right, handoff to the tailback, Sean Skane up the middle to about the 44-yard line for a pickup of four, and uh, it will be third down. Let's uh, go down to John Nicholson. Charlie, thank you very much. You're listening to Coach Ken McPhee talk to his offense uh, during the uh, the end of the first quarter, and he was admonishing them to block hard and block up the middle and be quick off the ball, and uh, judging by that first play, they're going out there and doing just that. Charlie? Okay, thank you very much, uh, John. Wearing uh, red today, 
I guess you better if you're on the sidelines. Jack Weir, the equipment manager for the Quincy uh, High School, is uh, helping out North Quincy today, and even he's wearing red. So I'm sure he's going to hear about that at Quincy High. Third down and three for North Quincy. Reinhardt goes in motion, give to Skane, breaks one tackle, goes he's straight ahead. He's got the first down up to the 48-yard line. Good blocking out in front. Escane with the first down yardage for the Red Raiders, their second first down of the game. Well, that was a great play, Charlie. Just a simple off-tackle play, and I was counting the uh, the white shirts up there from Arlington on the line of scrimmage. They had uh, six six people up and uh, two linebackers coming and a corner coming, so they ran that off-tackle play beautiful, and that's what they've got to do against that nine-man line. They either got to run a solid front, uh, solid blocking, or go to the air behind those linebackers. Good block up front by Josh Gott on that play. It is first down for North Quincy Higgins. Play action fake. He's in trouble. He heaves it away. It's intercepted by Arlington at the 45. 50, 45, and down to the 35-yard line goes Adam Muscatel as Liam Higgins was about to go down and heave the pass, and it was intercepted by Muscatel, and Arlington will have the ball first and 10 at the North Quincy 35-yard line. Well, that certainly was a break for Arlington, but uh, Lime is a great quarterback. Uh, take nothing away from him, but he got a little too anxious on that one. And just as he was going down, he threw that ball over here on the right hand side, and it just stayed up in the air. He really should have. He really should have taken the ball and gone down with it. So it was a, kind of a bad judgment uh, part on his play, his side. So Hirsch brings them out first and ten. Wing back goes in motion to the right. He's rolling oh, out to the right, open. looking to throw. A couple of people chasing him, and he throws it incomplete. Tried to hit one of his backs out of the backfield, but uh, threw it low, and it uh, fell incomplete. It'll be second down for the Spy Ponders. Well, they, they uh, threw that pass. They, they, they sprint to the right. And they throw three men, and they flood that uh, they flood that right hand area to the right side of their offensive line, and they had it flooded then. And they had one of those backs out of the backfield. Uh, I don't know if you heard me go, oh, but uh, he was wide open. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the quarterback didn't see him and went to the short man. But he had hit him. It had touchdown written all over it. Ken McPhee talking to uh, Nick Master Giacomo, his uh, center, about uh, perhaps that pass interception. It is second down and 10 for the Spy Ponders. Man in motion once again. Linebackers moving up, handed off to the tailback. Penalty flag is down, and uh, he gets uh, McLaughlin just a couple of yards, taken down uh, by Tony Lachardi for the Red Raiders. And this looks like it's going to go against Arlington. Procedure is the call against the uh, Spy Ponders. And we'll see what uh, North Quincy, if they will uh, take the five-yard penalty or take the play as is and uh, set up a third down. I think yep. they want to move him Good back. back. And moving back now, I wouldn't be surprised to see Arlington come back with that flood pass again to the right side because I'm sure one of their coaches picked up that man wide open on the flat. If North Quincy doesn't adjust and their corner or their safety doesn't pick out that uh, that back coming through out on the flat as they flood that zone, they're going to hit him. So let's see if they they pick that up upstairs and we'll try it right now. Well, they, they, do get take the, they get the whole wide side of that field to run to, to the right. They That's take the uh, penalty, so it'll be second down once again and 15 for the Spy Ponders. As they march up to the ball, Brian Donovan uh, wide out to the left. Baronelli is uh, to the uh, left. Uh, Donovan to the right. Hurst drops back, has the time, has the protection, steps up over the middle, has his man complete at the 30, and Donovan down to about the 20-yard line and is taken out of bounds by Tony Lachardi for the North Quincy Red Raiders as uh, Donovan was the wide-out man and just uh, ran a post pattern, Tom, over the middle. Well, they ran it the same play, but they ran it to the short side, uh, which was a smart move on their part. But uh, somebody's got to pick up that drag man coming across, and nobody did for North Quincy and pick out that uh, motion man going out, coming across the line of scrimmage and cutting to the corner. They just seem to be not picking that up very well, and I'm sure that Arlington will uh, keep on using it. Well, if uh, North Quincy gives uh, Hirsch that kind of uh, time yep. in the pocket, he's going to hit somebody. He had plenty yeah, of sure time. Did. 
So now it is first down and 10 at the North Quincy 20 for Arlington, moving right to left as they pitch it to McLaughlin, trying to sweep to the right and gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard before he is taken down. That last play was uh, for a 17 yard. Sean Halpin making the stop for the North Quincy Red Raiders. It'll be second down and nine from the North Quincy 19. Well, I watched that play that time and they had, uh, I think it was Ryan, Mr. Reinhardt over there at the, the left end spot. And they had three men blocking and one went high, one went low, and another tried to clean them out. And he took all three on and, and helped uh, stop, slow up that play so uh, the tackle could be made. So they got a tough customer over there. I formation, two receivers go to the right on second down and nine. Hirsch is back to pass. Quick drop looking over the middle, and it is incomplete as he tried to hit Joe Bernelli, but uh, the pass not quite there. On the coverage for North Quincy was uh, Eric Delory, and it will be third and nine for the Spy Ponders. Well, it was just a... Uh Benelli just a, a quick slant, and he was open, actually. If the ball had been thrown right, he would have caught it because he had his man beat on the slant in also. So this North Quincy secondary has got has to get on the ball a little bit and tighten up in there and pick up these, uh, pick up these uh, receivers. Third down and nine. Ball 19 of North Quincy. Arlington with it. Now uh, wing comes in motion to the left. Two wide outs to the left. Hirsch rolls out to the left. Halpin chasing them, and Halpin... It Throws it away and helping uh, puts him down and Hirsch just pushed the ball away uh, and North Quincy is screaming, looking for an intentional grounding sure call. Is. They do not get it, oh, I believe. <laughs> and so it'll be incomplete and uh, fourth down. Let's see if Arlington uh, tries a field goal as uh, Hirsch, a uh, pretty good kicker and uh, has made uh, three field goals this year that have uh, won games. And I think they are going to go yeah, for the field go. goal. Be about a 38-yard uh, field goal. Yeah, that's in his range, I guess. Uh, from what we've heard, he's pretty good. So, uh, And he's uh, just about on the middle hash mark, so he's got a good, nice angle on it. Right straight up. Oh, Hirsch will try with uh, Greg Moscatel to hold. Ball is uh, down. It's Muff. Moscatel picks up the football and is taken down by Halpin of North yeah. Quincy. So the Red Raiders hold and with 7.50 to go. First half, it's nothing, nothing. Back in 30. Higgins has the ball, first and 10, ball at his own 27-yard line, I formation, wide out Duncan to the right, hand off to the tailback skein, hit at the line and taken down, maybe a loss of a yard as the front just came busting through as one of the linebackers, Greg Moscatel, making the stop for the Spy Ponders, loss of a yard, it'll be second and 11. As I said before, on defense, uh, Arlington sending six uh, up front, sending two or three linebackers. So uh, they're, they're running, uh, North Quincy's running on first to second downs, and uh, they're running against a nine, ten man front. So uh, it's pretty tough. They get the, they've got to switch a little bit, and they haven't got too bad field position and hit them with a shot pass behind those linebackers, and they get those ends out there. Three receivers split wide. For North Quincy, just one man in the backfield. Higgins back to pass, and Claire blocking for him. Now he rolls out of the pocket, looking to the right, throwing it down long, and it is incomplete intended for Lachardi down at the 35-yard line, but Lachardi ran out of room, and it uh, went incomplete. But uh, Higgins showed that mobile ability that he has, and uh, Arlington didn't pick him up and uh, it could have been a, a nice pass play. Yeah, they put they still put a lot of pressure on him though. Uh, you know, he uh, they had three men chasing him and uh, he doesn't want to throw that football uh, too loosely out there. If he hasn't got a man out there and he is a, and he can't get his arm set and throw that ball, he's got to eat it. He doesn't want to lob that ball up. You know what happened last time? They they lucked out. They didn't get a score, but uh, down there did. So Higgins has got to be a little careful. Third down ball. At the 27, third down and 10, Higgins rolls out of the pocket, throws it out, and overthrows Dave Reinhardt, his intended receiver, up at the 37-yard line. 
as Reinhardt appeared to be the intended, but uh, it was uh, well overthrown, and uh, it'll be fourth down, and the Red Raiders will be forced to punt it away. Not sure on, on that pass. I guess it was Reinhardt the intended. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, nobody yeah. further down the field, but it was uh, well over his uh, head. Reinhardt was just doing a sideline out there, and he just overthrew him. He just threw way over his head, as you say. It was just a bad pass. Higgins stands at his own 12-yard line. Single safety is back for the Spy Ponders. Higgins gets a little... Uh, Poor snap and gets a poor punt off. This is going to roll out of bounds at about the 42-yard line of North Quincy. That's where Arlington will have it first and 10. 6.44 to go. First half, scoreless game back in 30. And pass play incomplete out in the right flat down to the 40-yard line as Tony Lachardi came in to knock the ball away from Joe Baronelli. And, uh, Tom, before we came back, you were saying there's that pass play again. And uh, But for a good play by Lachardi, that would have been completed. Yeah, he was out there with them that time, and they had the short man, drag man covered uh, coming out too. So uh, right then they had North Quincy had good coverage. They got to have good coverage on that play because they've had that uh, single man open all day long out there. Tim Hirsch has second down and 10 at the North Quincy 42 two-yard line, I formation. Now wing comes in motion, handoff to the uh, tailback. Can't get anything, now tries to cut to the outside. He's in trouble and is taken down at the 45-yard line as uh, Halpin came in there for the North Quincy Red Raiders along with Sean Skane for a loss of uh, four yards or three yards and it will be third and 13. Great recovery over there by the end. He, uh, he was taken out, but he recovered and was able to catch him uh, almost from behind and uh, pull that play down. So uh, uh, everybody's playing well on that defense. Again, you can't emphasize enough. North Quincy is so quick on defense. Six minutes to go in the first half. Scoreless football game. I formation. Hirsch drops straight back, looking to throw. Has the time. Now the rush is on. It's intercepted. Picked off by the North Quincy Red Raiders, Sean Skein, and he is dragged out of bounds at about his own 27-yard line. So Hirsch throws the interception, Skein recovers, and North Quincy will go on offense. As a nice play by North Quincy gives them the football. Just watching the replay. Yep. <laughs> Coming back is uh, Hirsch. Well, Hirsch just met Mr. Reinhardt, then. Mr. Reinhardt uh, really whacked him when he released that ball right in his face, and uh, <laughs> he just, uh, they had a nice uh, little talk over there together. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was in the general vicinity of no Arlington receiver as he uh, heard the footsteps of Reinhardt and uh, got it away, so now it's North Quincy ball, first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Receivers left and right ball, right hash mark, Higgins calling signals, drops away. back. Looking to throw and incomplete at the 40-yard line. Looking for the quick post pattern to Dan Duncan. But Duncan hadn't quite caught up to it. And it will be second down for North Quincy. Well, uh, again, as I say, everybody's rolled up on that Arlington defense. They got uh, practically nine men up on that uh, two front walls. And uh, they got a pass in behind that, uh, in behind those linebackers. They only got one man deep. And... Uh, that's what they're doing to North Quincy in first to second down. Uh, they passed them, but they went deep. They've got a couple of plays where they have the ends cross across the middle behind the linebackers, and I think that's what they got to go to. Higgins has trips to the right. Now Lachardi lined up at fullback, goes uh, in motion from the shotgun. Higgins rolls out. He's being chased, looking, looking, throws it down the field, complete to Pat Shea at the 40-yard line, and I think they're going to say that Shea had his knee down. Uh -huh. 
And it is uh, as he caught the ball with his knee down. So the play ends there. And a good uh, pass play to an all alone open Pat Shea for 14 yards and a North Quincy first down. Nice pass. He rolled to his right. He had a lot of pressure. And Shea went down and did a little uh, hook, came back to the football. And he saw him, as you say, he went down to one knee uh, coming back. But he hit him right on the button and uh, picked up that first down. So uh, that's what North Quincy's got to do. They can't wait to third down to start passing this football with the defense Arlington to this play. Good play by Higgins. Rolling out, knew he was going to get hit, but uh, had the sense to get the pass off and completed it. Lachardi in motion again from the shotgun Higgins in trouble and he is sacked at the 28 yard line as the protection broke down Jeff Hayes came in there for the spy ponders to put him down also helping out Joe Coviello and a big loss all the way back to the uh, just about the original line of scrimmage the uh, 27 yard line 13 yard loss and it will be second and 23 for the red raiders well what happened then he was back there with a shotgun all by himself and uh, nobody picked up the defensive right end for arlington uh, somebody should have picked him up either inside somebody wasn't covered uh, one of the backs should have picked him up but nobody picked him up and as, uh, as he's dr he dropped back he was hit right away North Quincy comes out, the ball, right hash mark, Duncan and Shea are to the right. No wide out left side. Higgins under center looking for nice screen. a screen pass to Raftery, complete nice. to the 30. He's to the 35, he's to the 40, he's to the 50, he's to the 40. Dave Raftery is going to get out for a North Quincy touchdown. Touchdown, oh, North Quincy, boy. as Raftery just jumps into the end zone. Boy, and I'll tell you, he had some blocking out there, Charlie. I couldn't pick out the numbers, and maybe we can on the screen, but he had two or three blocks out there. It was a screen pass out to the left side, and vicious blocks just cut the legs out of two or three people, and he went down that sideline, and nobody laid a glove on him. What a beautiful executed, uh, executed screen pass to the outside. Now that puts North Quincy up on the board. 73-yard. Pass as Raftery was all alone and went right down the field untouched. Got some good blocking. Shea and Duncan out there. And once he got to the 50, he was off to the races. And Raftery just. And I was holding my toe. breath that there would be no clips. But yep. there was some beautiful blocks. Though, but I was afraid of that flag going down for clips. But there wasn't one. Thank goodness. Higgins will try and put the point through. It is partially blocked and no good. So the North Quincy Red Raiders are on the board with 3.56 to go in the first half. It's North 6, Arlington nothing, back in 30 seconds. Uh, BU, let's go down uh, to John Nicholson and uh, get the... Uh... Before that play started, Rafferty came to the sidelines telling him he was wide open on the left side. They throw the ball to him. That's what he did. They had the screen. You saw the block, and the block was beautiful. They went down like dominoes in 73 yards. Big Brian Rafferty just rambled down and jumped in the end zone, made it 6-0. Higgins missed the point after. But that's how we stand with 3.56 to go in the second quarter. 6-0 NQ over Arlington. Just as happy as can be, Charles. All right, so North on top. Let's see how Arlington uh, goes from here as Higgins with the kickoff. It's short, taken by one of the up men at the 30, 35, and up to the 39-yard line. So it'll be first down and 10. Pretty good field position for Arlington with uh, three minutes and 51 seconds to go here in the first half. Well, that was a beautiful play, as we said, Charlie. I'm just kind of disappointed I didn't get that extra point. I guess, as you said, it was partially blocked. I didn't see it, but uh, I saw it go off to the left side. But, Tina, uh, I hate to see them miss that point because sometimes that uh, missing that first point can make a big difference in the ball game. But I guess I'm pessimistic as a coach. But uh, <laughs> let's be happy we got that big six points on the board. Now let's let the defense take over. As the spy ponders come out in an I formation, two wideouts. Uh, to the left, Barnelli is the deep man. He's been the deep threat. They give it to a tailback and nothing doing. As uh, Raftery 
oh. came busting through, and Bob McLaughlin hit the deck very quickly for Arlington. Hello, here comes Rafferty, 245, six foot four. Only a junior's just growing up. <laughs> and boy, did he whack him, I'll tell you. Both then, sides of the ball, uh, he scored the touchdown, and he makes the big play defensively. That's what's surprising me. I thought that Darlington would run a little bit better up in the side of that North Quincy line, but they're certainly not going to do it. They haven't done it yet. Second and 10 from their own 39-yard line, the Spy Ponders. Man in motion from right to left, Hirsch. On the handoff to McLaughlin as he submarines his way over the 40 to about the 42-yard line. Stop made by Mark or Mike Linane. Three-yard pickup for Arlington. It'll be third down and seven. North Quincy, you can uh, see their uh, confidence being boosted by uh, getting that touchdown. And uh, as Tom said, it's up to the defense now. They can uh, certainly put uh, Arlington back on their heels if they can keep them from getting a first down. I formation, man in motion to the left, Hirsch. Play action fake, rolls out pass. looking, 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 has a man, and it is short, and it's intercepted by Pat Shea. Shea at the 25 to the 30, 35, and is bumped out of bounds at the 40-yard line. The intended receiver was Joe Baronelli. Hirsch threw it short right into the hands of Shea. It's North Quincy ball. It's 6-0 North Quincy back in 30 seconds. North Quincy goes in offense thanks to the Pat Shea interception. First down and 10 at their own 40-yard line. Higgins in the shotgun. Lachardi goes in motion to the left. He takes the snap. Has the time. Now it breaks down. Higgins trying to find somebody. Ran into his own offensive lineman and is hit and taken down behind the line of scrimmage at the 39-yard line. The receivers are covered, and uh, Higgins actually bumped into one of his own offensive linemen as he tried to go up the field. Well, he just ran into a big pile of people there, but uh, I'll, I'll give him credit. He didn't He didn't throw the ball up. He, he ate the ball, and he just uh, put it under his arm, made up his mind. No, as you said, nobody opened downfield, and uh, he just made up his mind. I'll take the ball and see what I can get with it, and just about got it back uh, within the yard of the line of scrimmage. So that's smart football. Second and 11, Duncan and Shea, along with uh, Reinhardt, go to the right. Higgins is under center. Josh Gott, lone man in the backfield behind him, and the give goes to Josh Gott, hit at the line and driven back, loss of another yard as Arlington just busting through Brian Patterson, the right tackle making that stop, and it will be third and 12 for North Quincy as now the Spy Ponders respond with some good defense. Well, the uh, Spy Ponders give them all the credit in the world. They've been playing great defense, too, as you just said. Uh, they've been coming, and uh, they're putting a lot of pressure. I, I'm sure they made up their mind before this ball game. They were going to put all the pressure they could on Higgins, and, the, and they're certainly doing that today. Sinclair in the ball game. He lines up as the lone back with the three receivers to the right. Now Sinclair moves back a little bit, giving Higgins a little more room. He's under center. Third down and 12, North Quincy. Pitch goes to Sinclair. Sinclair looking for a block. Now cuts it back up inside to the 40 to about the 42-yard line. Only gained about five yards. So North Quincy will have a fourth down situation with 36 seconds. And uh, Arlington's going to call timeout uh, as uh, they will force North Quincy to uh, punt and uh, try and get the ball. So with uh, 36 seconds to go, first uh, half at 6 nothing North Quincy back in 30 seconds. Back here at BU, Arlington takes their second time out. They have uh, three to go, 36 seconds. 
in the first half. Left as North Quincy with a 6-0 lead. And uh, the Red Raiders will be forced to uh, punt it away. Deep man is Joe Baronelli as uh, Higgins stands at his own 29-yard line. Awaiting the snap, gets a good nice snap. snap from center. On, and he really oh, line drives this one. Barinelli oh. all the way back. And oh. Has the ball go out of his hands. He's in trouble and just runs out of bounds at the five-yard line as North Quincy's Keith Lentini chased him out of bounds. Good special teams coverage. And Arlington will be deep in their own territory at their own five with 26 seconds to go here in the first half. That was a beautiful kick by Lime Higgins. A high kick right, right over the head of the uh, safety, right down to about the 10-yard line. He ran back and tried to pick it up and couldn't. Uh, luckily, it went out of bounds. But uh, he, that North Quincy had great coverage. But uh, that was a nice, beautiful spiral high kick kick and uh, and that's the way he usually gets them so uh, uh, North Quincy now is I think is uh, shown a little bit on their special teams today too Charlie well let's see uh, how Arlington goes here they may be content to just uh, go into the locker room but North Quincy will uh, perhaps try and stop the clock as Arlington deep in their own uh, territory I formation pitch to McLaughlin trying to sweep to the right side hit by Rafferty and a host of black jerseys and is driven back to about the three yard line but I think they will give him the forward progress to the five yeah. And it will be second down, clock moving, 10 seconds. So now North Quincy will stop it with nine seconds to uh, go as Arlington would have been very content to uh, just let the uh, clock run out. But uh, North Quincy will make them snap it uh, at least one more time. Big crowd on hand uh, oh. down in front of us. I see Jack Raymer, Quincy uh, High head coach he's got one of those what do they call those the zubats hats or something it, it's all a, kinds of stripes on it stripes and uh so uh, he's he's watching uh, along with a uh, uh, big crowd oh. is there anybody left in quincy i, I, don't, I don't know so. i think it's this, a ghost town this is the biggest crowd bu has had in 10 years in this field i think uh this whole uh, stand over here the uh, home stand is just completely filled with uh with North Quincy. You know what I like too, Charlie? You see a lot of Blue Jackets down. A lot of, lots Absolutely. Of lots of Quincy, uh, Quincy High people here, Quincy High alumni. I see a lot of them I know here. And they're here rooting for North Quincy too. And we, you know, we have that great game on Thanksgiving. But uh, when one of the teams reaches this level, uh, the whole city unites behind it. I think it's a great, great thing. Absolutely. So, second down for the spy ponders this uh, could be the last play hirsch quarterback sneak straight ahead and uh, he gets himself up over the 10 to about the 11 yard line three seconds and now what uh, time call once again as uh, it was uh, taken by just waiting for referee john marinelli to indicate north, north quincy calls a timeout so there's three seconds uh, to go didn't seem like they started that clock until no, the play it was, uh, it's, halfway through. Some of the light play. bulbs are out. It was yeah. nine seconds, and now it's down to three seconds. Yeah. yeah. So that the uh, yeah. scoreboard used to be at uh, uh, Schaefer, Sullivan, Foxborough Stadium yeah. at uh, at one point. The oh, scoreboard that, that they, they have here. So uh, you, you, you couldn't afford a scoreboard. They had to pick up a second hand. <laughs> I don't know that. what. To, well, you're an alumni. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't spend too much in our athletic program. I, I, I'm sure of that. They yep. haven't since I've been there, and they haven't since. So. They just cut some uh, football scholarships. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the foot athletics doesn't mean too much, I guess, at BU anymore, and unfortunately. Unless it's hockey, maybe. Maybe hockey, but most of the hockey money comes from the Hockey Boosters Club, which I am a member of, and uh, so that doesn't come out of school funds either. All right, so uh, so that's why some light bulbs are out. I, I was going to say, uh, what do you want from the Patriots? But uh, something like that. Oh, it's third down and four, and I think we'll see Mr. Hirsch just uh, take this ball once again. This uh, barring a penalty will be the last play of the first half, and there is Reinhardt. Oh, my word, Reinhardt and Pacino just in to take him down, and that is the end of the first half here at BU's Nickerson Field, and uh, John Nicholson is uh, going to attempt to uh, get a word with Coach Ken McPhee. He's uh, chasing him uh, down the field uh, right now as uh, he's going to talk to uh, both uh, John and uh, Mike Tucker at uh, halftime. So, uh, gentlemen, uh, take it away. Kenny, a real tough first half, a defensive game, hard hitting, and uh, you made one big play. Well, that's what that's what some of these games come down to, one big play. Hopefully, our defense can continue to do what they're doing. They're uh, 
They're a diversified offense. We, you know, we'll get a kick to them and hold them and see what happens in the third period. Did they throw anything at you you didn't expect? Uh, not really. Uh, everything they're doing is something that, that we've seen on the films. They, they, they stay pretty basic, but they do, very, they do the things very well is what, what the problem is. All right, what do you look for in the second half? Well, you know, I think they're going to have to come out and throw the ball a little bit against us. I, you know, I don't, they're not having a lot of success against us running, so I think they'll come out and try to throw the ball a little bit against us, and we'll try to get on the quarterback. Make some defensive adjustments at the half, will you? Uh, if necessary. I don't really think that it's the offensive adjustments that we're going to have to make. We're not running the ball real well, and uh, we're throwing the ball. We're getting a lot too much pressure on our quarterback, so we're going to have to do something about that. So we'll make those adjustments, I think, more than anything else. All right, Ken, thank you very much for taking time to talk to us. Coach Kenny McPhee of the North Quincy Red Raiders, and uh, Charlie, we'll send it back up uh, up to you in the booth, and uh, we'll see perhaps if we can get uh, mere sheets that we can talk to uh, before we send it back to the studios for news. Okay, thank you very much, uh, John Nicholson. It is 6-0. The one touchdown, uh, North Quincy getting it with uh, 3.56 to go in the first half. A 73-yard touchdown screen pass from Liam Higgins to uh, Dave Rafferty. And they uh, went for the uh, kick, and uh, it was partially blocked, did not go through. So North Quincy with the lone score in this football game, leading the Spy Ponders of Arlington by a 6-0 uh, uh, score. So uh, let's go down to John once again. I believe he has Mayor Sheets. Thank you very much, Charlie. We have uh, Mayor Sheets and Ward 1 Councilor uh, Peter Colson with us. Uh, first, uh, Mayor Sheets, your impressions of the first half. Well, that's a great game. Anytime you're winning, it's a great game. It was a real defensive game until we got a good break on that run. Uh, I guess it was a screen pass. It was a great, uh, great play. And uh, get out of the young people just doing a great job, all of them. Oh, yeah. It's a tremendous crowd here from Quincy, and I just think it's fantastic. You've been down here on the sidelines through the entire first half. What do you think of the hitting? Well, you know, it's, it, that's our hard hitting out there. You, it's, you see that in a college game. Right? That Those linemen are really drilling each other out there, and it's been a defensive struggle, and our boys have just played real tough. All right, thank you very much, Mayor Sheets. And uh, Councillor Colson, uh, your impressions? Oh, it's been a, uh, what the mayor just said, it's been a hard hitting game where there's a popping going on out there. I'll tell you, we, we have a bird's eye, I mean, a real close view of it. And it's a tremendously def – the defense is uh, – they seem to be playing right in the middle of the field because the defense is hitting so hard. Uh, I think the second half, though, they'll come out. I think the offense, hopefully, for North Quincy will start to uh, uh, loosen the game up a little bit and uh, get some more scoring because they're going to need it. Uh, they, they, Arlington scores, a field goal could win this thing. And uh, the way the defenses are playing, and uh, would like, wouldn't like to come down to the last minute. So hopefully uh, the weather will hold off. It's starting to get really cold, but – the fans, we got about, uh, we estimated the crowd, the mayor and I have about 1,500 uh, from Quincy. So they, everybody's having a great game, a great day, and uh, the kids are enjoying themselves and, and hopefully a victory for North Quincy. All right, thank you very much, Councillor Colson and uh, Mayor Sheets. Uh, back up to the booth, Charlie. Okay, thank you very much, John. It is 6 0. All right, we're at halftime. Score 6 0, North Quincy Red Raiders over the Arlington Spy Ponders. Uh, we got here total offense 140 yards for North Quincy to 53 for Arlington in the first down category. Both teams have three apiece. In the passing, uh, Liam Higgins is four for nine. Uh, one TD, one interception for 113 yards and also a rush for seven. On the other hand, uh, Timmy Hirsch of Arlington is two for eight and he's thrown two interceptions and only thrown for 33 yards. In the running uh, category, Sean Scahan, four carries for 10 yards. Josh Scott, one carry for minus two and Mark Sinclair has uh, five carries for 17 yards. On the other hand, uh, Bobby McLaughlin has uh, seven carries for 10 yards, and Andy Jones, six carries for 10 yards. Uh, some key situations at, at the uh, end of the first quarter. Uh, Reinhardt had one sack in the first quarter and one sack in the second quarter, bringing his total of 25 this year. Uh, Mus Muscatel uh, had an interception for Arlington. Uh, Shea and Scahan, both interceptions for North Quincy. Uh, Rafferty, a 73-yard touchdown pass from Higgins. The kick was uh, missed, went wide to the left, and that's where we uh, stand, 6-0, to zero, North Quincy over Arlington. We're going to send it over to the bands and uh, watch a little of the festivities at halftime. We'll be back with you in the third quarter for the third quarter kickoff.
field, the concession stands at Walter Brown Arena are open behind Section K.
And also Mark Sinclair, his ankle's badly banged up. He won't be back. So uh, Sinclair is out of the ball game, and uh, Liam Higgins will be nursing a sore shoulder as we go into the second half. And as you heard Liam just say, they're going to come out throwing the ball in the second half. And here come the Red Raiders from North Quincy. Okay, thank you very much, uh, John and uh, Mike Tucker, for that uh, update. And uh, certainly, uh, without Sinclair, that will uh, put another dent in the uh, North Quincy uh, backfield uh, with uh, Sean Nee being hurt and uh, Mark Sinclair. So uh, that uh, will maybe change uh, North Quincy's uh, game plan a little bit in this second half. Tom Fitzgerald, your uh, thoughts in the first half and what uh, we can look for in well, this I, second half. I think, uh, you know, we talk about Sinclair uh, offensively, but defensively he plays in that defensive backfield and he's a he's an outstanding defensive player too so that's going to hit him but I don't think Egan's uh, from just the way he talked now I don't think that shoulder's going to bother him much uh, he's all hepped up for this ball game and he's going to as he said he wants to throw that ball and I think what North Quincy's got to do is throw in first or second down a little bit if uh, a little bit more if uh, uh, Arlington rolls their whole uh, a defensive uh, secondary up. They've only got one man back there, and they're playing a six-man line with three or four linebackers, and they're coming. So, Mark Quincy's got to hit that uh, soft spot in behind those linebackers. But uh, going over the first half, what more can you say? It's been one heck of a football game out here. Uh, the field's been great. Uh, cool uh, winter day, but uh, everybody is playing great football. The North Quincy's defense is, is is doing more than expected. They're outstanding. Just, uh, just uh, I, I, I haven't got the superlatives to tell you how good I think they're playing football one of the best high school defensive teams I've uh, seen in many many a year and uh, it's a defense is keeping him in this ball game that one big play that screen pass again uh, as I said and as Lamb uh, as Lamb also said uh, uh, there's great blocking it was a great run and a great pass but there was great blocking on that play two or three vicious blocks thrown down that side on his East Camp at 72 yards for that touchdown but this Arling team is a good solid football team and uh, uh, you know they can break it out over any time uh, they can pass that ball. They like to flood the they like to flood a zone area and throw that football with a with a delayed back coming out of the backfield. And they get some uh, they got some great runners in that backfield. And they really haven't got going yet against that North Quincy line. But if they can find a little seam or a weakness. They'll certainly exploit it. So this second half, I think, is going to be a real barn burner right down to the end. 12 o'clock, 1300 radio, WJDA, Quincy, Massachusetts, the Division 1B Super Bowl matchup. North Quincy and Arlington, the Red Raiders lead 6-0. They will be kicking off to the Spy Ponders, <clears throat> excuse me, in this third quarter, and North Quincy will be defending the goal to our right. That is the uh, goal toward the Massachusetts Turnpike and Storo Drive, if you will. Liam Higgins will kick it off. Joe Baranelli is the deep man for the Spy Ponders, set to receive the this, I believe uh, Bob McLaughlin back there as well as North Quincy huddles up and awaiting the uh, kick of the ball. Higgins moves into it. We are underway with the second half. One of the up men feels it at the 25 to the 30 up to the 35 and down to the 39 yard line. It'll be first down as the ball returned by Chris Carlson of the Arlington Spy Ponders, and uh, I know Chris's father. For a, he's a very nice uh, gentleman, a colleague of mine named uh, Hank Carlson. He's uh, very, very proud of his uh, son, Chris. So uh, get him in the football game and uh, got his name called. So uh, I'll see you on Monday, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so Carlson with the return, and it is first down for the Arlington Spy Ponders as they come out. Tim Hirsch has an eye formation behind him. Wing to the right. Man in motion, the wing to the right. Now he comes back the other way. Give to McLaughlin. McLaughlin cuts through the line and gets up to about the 45 yard line for a gain of uh, five yards as he went low and came out of a pile of uh, black jerseys and uh, somehow got five yards out of it. So it'll be a second down stop made by Dave Reinhardt of the Red Raiders. Interesting formation. They come out in an eye with a wing, uh, tight line, those, those splits, and it uh, looks like they're going to run a little power against North Quincy now. So they're running out of that eye, which is a power offense. I think they're going to try and run right at North. Hirsch turns back, looks uh, to his eye formation. North Quincy with the five-man front team of McLaughlin again. Halpin hits him at the line. He falls forward for a yard, but Sean Halpin with a nice play up the middle, and uh, it'll be third down. 
Well, it's easier said than done. <laughs> they said they're going to run against them, but uh, they ran two off tackle plays right to the left side. They made four or five on that first one, but they didn't make anything on that second one. So, uh, uh, but I still think that's their game right now. They, they're going to try and go after them. As some snow flurries are falling here at Nickerson Field, it's third down and four. Hirsch calling signals, looking that's around, bad. now puts the mouth guard in. Wing to the right, I formation. Looking at the five-man North Quincy front play action fake. Here comes Reinhardt. He throws it away. Has his man complete to the 50 and down to the 47-yard line is uh, Brian Donovan, and it will be an Arlington first down. Well, there's that, uh, there's that flood sending a man out of the backfield, the end, of, end uh, out on the flat, and then the, the, uh, the back coming out on the, just off the line of scrimmage, and he hit him, found him wide open, and that's a nice play action pass. It floods that, uh, floods that one zone on the right-hand side or the, or the left-hand side and uh, puts a lot of pressure on the North uh, secondary. Seventh first down of the football game for the Spy Punters. They have it at the Red Raider 48-yard line as they come up with Marinelli wide to the left. The ball is right hash mark. Hirsch with an eye formation, wing to the right. Now the wing comes in motion to the left. Hirsch gives it to McLaughlin. McLaughlin 45 on his feet to the 40 and down to about the 38-yard line. He is close to a first down. At Shea on the tackle for the North Quincy Red Raiders along with uh, Eric DeLore. Let's see uh, where they uh, mark the ball. And uh, they are uh, close, but they are shy by about half a yard, so it will be second down and one for the Spy Ponders, and uh, young Mr. Bob McLaughlin just showed why he had 800 yards sure in does. seven games uh, with some good moves up the middle of the field. Arlington taking time. Hirsch turning back once again, gives it to his fullback this time. Big hole up the middle, and he is dragged down at about the 21-yard line by Jeremy Gott as Arlington just uh, taking the power game and blowing some big holes in the North Quincy line. Well, that's what they want to do, child. I had the feeling they were going to do this in the beginning of the ball game, and they didn't do it. Now they're standing out this second half. This is their type of football. Come right at you with the, uh, with the, uh, out, of the out of the eye and run a, uh, a little play action pass once in a while, and that's just what they're doing. They're using these great backs that they have. They give it to uh, McLaughlin, and he is in trouble at the 25-yard line, and it is manhandled down on a nice play by David Pacino. We'll see where they mark the ball. McLaughlin complaining to the uh, official saying that uh, he was roughed up a little too much. The official saying no way, and it's back to the 25-yard line. So it'll be a second down and 12 on the two-yard loss. Well, they tried a little counter then. They tried a counter step and then come back to the right. Pacino was right there in his face. Hirsch calling signals, receivers left and right, backs now split. Play action fake, Hirsch is back to pass, looking in the end zone, has a man, it's intercepted, but we've got a penalty flag as Tony Lachardi picked it off, but we've got a penalty flag, and I Aww. think we're going to have pass uh. interference against North Quincy, and you can hear the Red Raider fans. Uh. And that will give Arlington the ball first and goal at the one yard line on the pass interference. Well, I don't know. I couldn't I didn't see any pass interference on that. He was Here's right, the replay. He, so. he was right in front of him. Hirsch with a nice bootleg rolls around his uh, own left side and uh, goes for the end zone. As we're looking, I think it was before was the camera. The uh, camera, I think. There was a, maybe a bit of pushing, but uh, not of a uh, penalty nature. But uh, it's a penalty against the North Quincy Red Raiders, and they are going to call timeout with 7.15 to go in this third quarter. North 6, Arlington nothing. We'll be back in 30 seconds.
Now back here at uh, Nickerson Field, it will be first down for the Spy Ponders. First and goal from the 10-yard line after the pass interference call against North Quincy. And the uh, Red Raider defense will have to come up big as they are exhorting the crowd, and you can hear them in front of us to uh, cheer it up as the North Quincy defense will try and keep Arlington out of the end zone. The backs shift out of the eye now. Hirsch running around. Finally, he goes under center, and he gives it to the right halfback. He's got a hole, and he is in. Touchdown, Arlington. As the Spy Ponders are on the board, it is a 6-6 football game. Kelly got a quick handoff right off the uh, light off his left guard. There was a nice hole there. He just opened up a little seam and he went in standing up. But uh, uh, as I said earlier, I thought that was the uh, Arlington's uh, type of football. They go right after you, and that's the way they started this half. I could tell by the, uh, the way they lined up on a tight formation, on that I formation, they were going to go right after North Quincy. But uh, I still have my doubts on that pass interference, and that's, uh, that's that field judge downfield. That's what he's there for. But... Uh, uh, I don't know. I still have my doubts. It was, a, it was a too good a call, but that's football. So the big point coming up. Andy Jones with the touchdown. Hirsch will try and break the tie. Ball down. Kick is up, and it is through the uprights. So the Spy Ponders have taken the first lead for them today. It is Arlington 7, North Quincy 6. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Back here at BU, let's get down uh, with this turn of events to John Nicholson. Charlie, uh, the touchdown has not dampened the spirits of the North Quincy Red Raiders bench, and uh, they are still questioning that interference call. Uh, Coach Ken McPhee came out and said that was no interference call. Nice pick, he said to the player who uh, intercepted it. So uh, they're not despondent, they're not down, they're gonna go out there, and Liam Higgins just can't wait to get his hands on the football. All right, thank you, John. Uh, Tom, uh, very important now for North Quincy to uh, reestablish the offense. Yeah, they've got to get it going now. They can't be too anxious. They've got to be patient and get going what they want to get going. But as I said before, they got to pass behind that secondary a little bit. Brian Donovan kicks it off, and it will be Lichardi at his 18 to the 20 and is uh, hacked down at the 28-yard line. Got his legs taken right out from under him by Chris Carlson, another <coughs> good special teams play and it will be first and 10 for the Red Raiders the ball resting at their own 30 yard line of course Arlington now that was a great psychological pickup for on to come right out there in the beginning of the ball game uh, three or four minutes and get seven points on the board so this guy high right now so North Quincy is just as they say gotta be patient work this ball and not take any uh, you know big chances Josh got the fullback with Sinclair uh, injured. Higgins on first down, play action fake to Skane. Higgins looking to throw, now in trouble and uh, throws out a dying quail. It's uh, incomplete. And again, that uh, could have been intercepted. Oh, yeah. Brian Donovan at the 35 yard line, dove for it along with a North Quincy uh, player. But it is an incomplete pass and it will be second down for North Quincy. Well, he has a tendency to do that. When he gets trapped, he has a tendency to just kind of get rid of it, lob it up there, and he can't do that. You gotta take the you gotta take the hit, you gotta take the loss. That's part of playing quarterback. You can't be over anxious because you'll throw that ball right into right into a defender's hand. He had uh, th two players hitting him oh, yeah. just as he got it away and uh, nearly did complete it, uh, but uh, a very dangerous pass and it's second down. Lichardi goes in motion to the left from the shotgun. Higgins is back, sets up over the middle, and it is intercepted by Arlington at the 45-yard line, taken by Doug Smith, and he is into North Quincy territory and down to about the 27-yard line as Higgins underthrew his intended receiver and Smith was there to pick it off. 
and it will be Arlington first down deep in North Quincy territory. Well, that was a long pass. It covered over 35, 40 yards downfield, and the, the uh, secondary of Arlington just backed up and had that whole zone, whole deep zone covered, and the, they picked it off. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, he it, tried to hit the deep man. I don't know if he had looking, anybody underneath or not. I couldn't see, but uh, he had uh, Shea, or, uh, yep, Shea uh, and uh, Reinhardt. He was trying to hit Reinhardt, but it was uh, short and it was uh, picked off. And uh, Arlington's on the door once again, and uh, t tackle made by Nick Master Giacomo for the Red Raiders of North Quincy. 7-6 Arlington with the lead, 6.43 to go here in the third quarter. Now well, I'm sure that Arlington's going to come right out and run this uh, right up the middle, right off tackle again against North Quincy and uh, try and open this ball game up. So North Quincy's got to dig in. They've been running off that uh, left side of North Quincy pretty well. Uh, not the right-hand side of North Quincy, their left-hand side, and right off the uh, between the uh, between the middle guard and the uh, and the tackle. So we'll see what they do. I think they'll they'll power right up the field and try and power it in for another TD. Biggest series for the North Quincy defense of the year right now. Hirsch calling signals, man in motion. Play action, fake rush is on. He throws it out incomplete. Looking for Andy Jones' fullback, but there were black jerseys all around Hirsch, and he had to get it away before he was ready. It'll be second down uh, coverage by Eric Delory of the North Quincy Red Raiders. Well, I was surprised they went for the pass on that, but I was very surprised that they did. I thought they'd go right at him because they've had so much success but uh, hey that's one down that they haven't got we'll be announcing uh, two trophies uh, for players of the game from uh, North Quincy at the end of this uh, one for an offensive player and the other for alignment so uh, stay tuned we'll be making that announcement second down and 10 handoff to McLaughlin flag is thrown he gets to the 25 down to about the 23 yard line but I think we've got an Arlington penalty and uh, this will come back. Yeah, I think so. They threw it in that side of the line, but that was just an off tackle with the motion man going over there uh, from the right side and hitting the uh, the end for North Quincy, and they were right off tackle. Power again. Uh, they're coming right at him. And it was a legal motion, the call, as uh, the snowflakes <coughs> yeah. fall here at Nickerson Field, not amounting to, uh, to anything. I think what happened on that, the motion man uh, trimmed up field before the snap of the ball, and uh, he's not allowed to do that naturally. So that moves them back to the 32-yard line, and it will be second down for the Spy Ponders. Clock moving with 6.27 to go in the third quarter. Arlington with a 7-6 lead over the North Quincy Red Raiders. As Hirsch, he has uh, talked up volumes to his running backs uh, in this second half. I formation as he drops back. He's setting up a screen, has his man complete at the 35 to the 30, 25 and down to about the 23 yard line on the screen pass to Andy Jones. And that uh, is a nice gain of uh, 10 yards and it will set up a third and five. That was a nice screen out there to the left side. They had a couple of two or three blockers, and uh, they picked up the yard, that uh, good yardage out there. So it's a third and a long uh, seven or eight to go here for a first down. This is a, this is a big play for North Quincy. The defense has got to rise to the occasion right now. As the snow falls, North Quincy's defense digs in. Six men front, back split. They give it to the fullback. He is hit by Reinhardt and taken down as Reinhardt got him at the line of scrimmage and would not give up. He had him around the waist and he would not let him get any further. Jones taken down and it will be fourth down for the Spy Ponders. Well, there was two bulls in the China closet over there, Reinhardt and Jones, a big fullback, but uh, as you'd say, he would let go of his waist and, and finally pulled him down, but there was quite a struggle. So that was up his, the big one right now. North Quincy's got a hold. And uh, they are going to go for it. They send uh, trips to the right, Hirsch. Rolls out to the right, looking to throw. Has a man open, but it is incomplete at the 12-yard line. Beautiful, beautiful. Out of bounds. The intended was Brian Donovan, the wingback, but it was incomplete on the coverage with Sean Skein. So the North Quincy defense holds. They will go on offense. It's Arlington 7-6, back in 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. 
telling you guys, push it off, buddy. I definitely tell the other guys, push it off. Okay, push it for me. Uh, I'm like two backs in the Back here at Nickerson Field, uh, North Quincy lined up and uh, they called a timeout. So uh, the entire 11 will surround coach uh, Ken McPhee. 5.18 to go in this third quarter, a 7-6 lead. And uh, Tom, you said uh, when North Quincy got the touchdown about the uh, point after, and uh, indeed it did come back to bite North Quincy as Arlington was successful on the kick and uh, that the uh, Part of their lead right now, the uh, one-point lead, is the kick. Yeah, I've never seen it fail. You missed that first one, and you're always in trouble. It just seems that, that uh, you missed that first point, and boy, the other team gets a gets a TD and gets that extra point. Here you are, seven six, and that's the situation North Quincy finds itself in now. But North Quincy's got to get this offense in gear, and they uh, they got to get some field position up here and uh, start running and passing that football a little bit, get some consistency, and uh, uh, they're having a hard job doing it right now. So Higgins has his back split, has receivers left and right. Shea left, Duncan to the right, back split. Higgins is under center. Looking over that big front wall of Arlington, he's back to pass, looking for Shea. It is caught, complete oh. to the 50-yard line, oh, oh. as Pat Shea almost stole the ball out of Brian Donovan's arms. The two of them went for it together, and Shea with it for a 28-yard pickup and a North Quincy first down. Well, Donovan hadn't grabbed him by the arm shot. He would have been gone. He just made a desperate grab out here after Shea caught the ball and grabbed him by the, the, the sleeve of his arm and just uh, pulled him down. If he hadn't, Shea would have gone all the way because we know how fast he was. Nobody would have caught him. The two of them were downfield all by themselves. So that gets down because North Quincy some good field position. First and 10 at the midfield stripe for the Red Raiders. 4.53 to go, third quarter, Arlington up by one point, back split, here comes the blitz. Higgins picks it up, throws complete to Shea to the 42 yard line. That was beautiful, uh, they had a blitz on and uh, Higgins threw that ball with a linebacker right in his face. It, it's a uh, uh, quick or a fire, which we call, uh, the call's made up on the line if you see those blitzes coming and you just send a back or, uh, or a tight end right down the field and hit him on a quick one and he executed it beautifully. So that's what they've got to do. If those linebackers come, you've got to get rid of that football down quick. Seven-yard pickup, it'll be second and three for North Quincy as Shea has caught two passes in a row. His father uh, up uh, doing one of the uh, TV cameras, Leo Shea, very proud of his son, also as a daughter, played on the uh, North Quincy State Championship volleyball team. Now Higgins yells out at something to Dan Duncan. He has his backs in an I formation, some movement in that Arlington line. Pass play incomplete, intended for Shea at the 25-yard line. And Brian Donovan for Arlington, the closest man to it, uh, got a hand on it, but couldn't call it in for the interception. And now North Quincy will have third down and three. Now they got to get this uh, three yards. It's a very important first down right here. He just overthrew that ball a little bit and uh, and a, looked like a post pattern about uh, 15 yards downfield, but he just overthrew him. He was open, but he just overthrew him. Well. Liam Higgins, uh, one of the few high school quarterbacks I've ever known that uh, does check off at the line, and I think that's what he was doing as uh, he looked at the Arlington line and uh, wanted to call another play and did. Well, now, Arlington's playing a lot of games. They got six, seven, eight, nine men up there. I formation, Higgins on the handoff to a skein. Skein up the middle and out to the left for a first down of a 35-yard line. As boy, Sean boy. Skein gets the eighth North Quincy first down. Well, that was a beautiful run by Skane. He got hit behind the line. He shook off. Uh, he shook off a tackle over here off the left tackle. It was a left tackle uh, run, and he shook off one of the blockers. Shook off another one in the secondary and picked up that that very very important first down over here. So that's what North Quincy's got to do. They got to put the ball in the air. They've got to run, uh, and they've got to pick up these blitzing linebackers from Arlington, and they're doing a pretty good job right now. And we get a whistle as the. Clock is stopped, and uh, Arlington, I believe, uh, calls the timeout with 3.24 to go in the third quarter. It's Arlington 7, North Quincy 6. We'll be back in 30 seconds.
fans on the visiting side of the field. Session stands are open in Walter Brown Arena behind Section K. All right, back here. Let's uh, quickly get down uh, on the field to uh, John Nicholson and uh, find out uh, what the mood is along the North Quincy bench. John, it's yours. Well, the North Quincy bench is very confident, Charlie. Liam Higgins said but when we talked to him before the half that he was going to come out throwing. He has. He's been looking for Shea on the last three plays. He has found him twice, and you got to love that kid. He wears number 13, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. First and 10, the ball at the spy ponder, 35 yards line there is a bit of a breeze that has picked up it is blowing uh, at North Quincy's back here in the third quarter Sean Skane gets the handoff and he is stood up and will be taken down for a loss of a yard as he tried to go left side and Adam Moscatel in to make the tackle and uh, it will be second down and 11 for North Quincy now that uh, they uh, they tried to run that ball again on first and second down but I tell you they uh, uh, Arlington's got six men up there, three linebackers, and they're all coming, so it's pretty tough to run against them on first to second down from tackle to tackle, maybe outside. And say North Quincy. It looks like a North Quincy timeout, uh, maybe yeah. an official's timeout. Nope, the officials. I'm sure exactly what they're, it's not a uh, time requirement. They're over talking to uh, Coach John Hanley of uh, the Spy Ponders and. Oh, he got an injury over here, uh, equipment change or something. I think just One of the Arlington players, uh, Brian uh, Patterson, who's the uh, right tackle, uh, was uh, limping and uh, went back to the huddle. He's not the one that's uh, going out, but uh, he was uh, shaken up. I believe he's uh, still in there wearing number 77. I think the kid that's going out, I'm not sure. I can't pick up his number, Charlie, but I think the referee saw that he was hurt, and that's why he uh, called time out to get him out of there. Shane McNeely, I believe it was, mm -hmm. number 34. So uh, second down for North Quincy. At the 35-yard line, Higgins is back to pass. He's looking long. He's looking for Shea. He's got it. Got it. Touchdown. Got it. No, no. What are you he talking about? Oh, right, they right. say he bobbled it in oh. the end zone. Oh. And it looked like a North Quincy oh. touchdown. But the officials oh. say no. Shea was kind of. Uh, he caught it first. I he thought. caught it. And I think he went broke the play to the end zone. But uh, we'll uh, see on the replay. Yeah, well, he didn't say he didn't seem to put up much of a protest, but uh, all right know. now here's I, the replay. Let's uh, if you were watching the TV uh, as Shea beat the coverage. He put it in caught the ball and no, he didn't have control. He did it. Well, yeah, well it's step questionable. It's questionable. He might not have control, but I uh, don't know. All right. Coach Ken McPhee trying to plead his case, but uh, the officials hearing none of it. Now Higgins is going to ask for timeout. So with the uh, 2.33 to go in this third quarter in Arlington with a 7-6 lead, we'll take 30 seconds. Three timeouts. Oh, uh, the snow is really coming down now, and uh, let's see if yeah. we can uh, oh, yeah. find him uh, in the crowd, uh, John Nicholson. Charlie, thank you very much on that pass play to Shea. It looked to me like he had it, but the official ruled that it touched the ground, bounced off the ground as he was going into the end zone. Back up to you. Baloney. That's my comment. Higgins back to pass on Screen third again. down. It's Screen, Screen again to Raftery. He's got it at the 30. He's got some room at the 20. At the 10, and Brian Raftery is dragged down out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. First down oh. for the Red Raiders. As Raftery 
And you called it once again, Tom. Uh, here's the screen, and there it was, and Raftery takes it down inside the 10, first and goal for North Quincy. Well, he got ahead of steam when he caught that football, I'll tell you. He ran over two or three of the uh, Arlington defenders. I wouldn't want to bit in his way when he was when he was rolling down that sideline. He almost got it in the end zone, so uh, North Quincy's coming right back at him. Beautiful pass play, Raftery. He has the North Quincy touchdown earlier, and he comes up with a big play for a first down. First and goal, North Quincy at the Arlington nine and a half. Sean Skane goes in motion, and we get a whistle, and we're going to have a penalty against North Quincy as uh, Peter Lachardi came out of his three-point yep. stance, so it will cost the Red Raiders five yep. for procedure as referee John Magnarelli with the indication. So that will move him yeah. back uh, five yards. Of course, uh, you think touchdown, but uh, North no. Quincy has uh, Liam Higgins yeah. who can kick a field goal and uh, Arlington's lead is just a point. Yeah. So uh, that is a possibility as well. And North has the wind at their back here in the third quarter with 2.22 to go. Yeah, they're gonna try for that touchdown. They want that six, six points right now. I'd like to see him get it too. I think that would be a little more insurance for a whole quarter to go. Trips to the right, one man in the backfield. He comes in motion now, that's Lachardi. Higgins drops straight back, has the time, looks for a receiver, can't find anybody, now runs with a football and gets down to about the 12 yard line. So he gained three yards as Andy Jones took him down as his receivers were all covered. And it will be second and goal from the Arlington 12. Well, he had three receivers out there, but none of them could shake loose. They're all the end zone. Of course, when you're working that end zone, you, you shot and you feel down. So uh, but, uh, he did the smart thing. He ate the football, put his head down, and picked up three yards, and uh, that was the smart thing. He didn't let that ball go. He wanted to take any chances down here, and I'll give up that football. Now Higgins Another timeout. asked this is for a timeout. Boy, this so is this is timeout. That's their fourth timeout. So. North Quincy uh, using up a lot of timeouts here in the third quarter with a minute 34 to go. It is Arlington 7, North Quincy 6. We'll be back in 30 seconds. People very special to the uh, North Quincy uh, High School uh, squad who are uh, no longer with us. One of them, uh, young Tommy Gilmartin, who uh, was the ball boy for uh, several years. And uh, he has been, uh, and his memory has been an inspiration to this North Quincy squad. Second and goal from the 12. Higgins is under center, has just one man behind him in the backfield. Higgins is in trouble. He throws the ball from his knees almost, and it is incomplete as he threw it in the end zone. The intended receiver was uh, Brian Raftery, who nearly came up with a touchdown. Well, he threw that with the... He saw him out there. It, didn't, wasn't, it was kind of desperation, but he did see that, as you say, he did see Rafferty in the corner, so... He just didn't throw it up for grabs. And now with third down for North Quincy, third and goal. The ball is at the Arlington 12-yard line. Snow subsides a little bit, not uh, really sticking or anything, just some uh, flurries. Lachardi goes out to the right. Three receivers, Duncan, Shea, and uh, Lachardi to the right. And... Uh, now man in motion out of the backfield. Higgins is back to pass, throws oh. into the end zone, oh. and it is incomplete. Tried to hit one of his wide outs at about the one yard line. I believe it was Dan Duncan, the intended receiver, but the ball sailed by him, and now it is fourth and goal, and let's see if uh, the kicking tee is going to come out or uh, if North Quincy is going to try yeah, and uh, punch coming. it into the end zone. Lamb's gonna try it. Yep, the tee is out there. Pat Shea will uh, do the holding. Well, I think the last time on uh, that uh, extra point didn't uh, 
Arlington get a breakthrough and get yep. a piece of the they ball. They got a so, piece of the ball. So North Quincy, the line has really got a, got a block on this. It's going to be from they the, we'll from call the right it the side. 20, make it a 30 yard field goal attempt for Liam Higgins. Ball down, kick is up, long enough, high oh. enough, but it is no good. They say it was wide. So the try for the field goal, no good. Arlington holds on to the lead. It is seven to six. We'll be back in 30 seconds. First down for Arlington at their own 20-yard line as the defense holds up. Higgins misses a field goal that would have given North Quincy the lead. Hurst throws it out, has a receiver at the 50, but it is incomplete. And that should be offensive pass interference as Tony Lachardi was tackled by Joe Baranelli, but the official does not call it. And it will be second down as Lachardi oh, pleaded his case, and uh, it uh, looked like offensive pass interference yes, to did, me. Yeah. Now the ball with Bayer wasn't catchable, but uh, he said, all right, uh, you know, it's questionable. But uh, geez, North Quincy hasn't gotten a break here all the last in this half, that's for sure. Maybe they'll make one on their own. They made one, maybe they'll make another one. Second down and 10. Back split now behind Hirsch. Receivers left and right. Hirsch is back to pass, setting up a screen, throwing it out, and it is caught and dragged out of bounds is the receiver. That was McLaughlin as he was dragged out of bounds by uh, Halpin, I believe it was, or Lachardi, Tony Lachardi. And uh, that'll be a loss of four yards. Well, that was a screen. It was going out to the left side where Lachardi stayed right with that, uh, with that man going out, either an end or a back that went out to kick get that screen he stayed right with them he was he went across his face he saw him and he stayed right with them out there and they just uh, it went for naught I'm oh. surprised right now to see uh, to see Arlington come out throwing right now uh, uh, down in their own territory with a 7-6 lead very surprising and uh, with a six yard loss they face third and 16 back at their own 15 yard line Hirsch on a handoff to the fullback, straight ahead Jones, and uh, he gets back to the 19, maybe to the 20, so he gains six up the middle, but it will be fourth down, and they'll be forced to punt it away to North Quincy, who should get pretty good field position as uh, this will uh, come. Hirsch will uh, get it away from about his uh, own 10-yard line, and going back uh, will be uh, Tony Lachardi and Pat Shea. Oh, my goodness, for a bad snap or a block kick, huh? That's what Kenny's praying for down there. And uh, on the other side, Coach John Hanley hoping not, but he does get a good snap from center, and it is a poor kick. Miserable kick. It bounces at the 40 and will take an Arlington bounce up to the 44. That's where North Quincy will start at the ponder 44-yard line. 23 seconds to go, third quarter. 7-6 Arlington will return in 30 seconds. Both teams lined up at the line of scrimmage lost. and uh, we're going to have a procedure call and uh, it'll go against North Quincy as they uh, or guilty, so it'll be first and 15 for the Red Raiders back at the midfield stripe. And North Quincy 50 yards away from uh, the end zone. They had a chance to take the lead, but uh, the Liam Higgins 30-yard uh, field goal attempt sailed wide to the right. Higgins brings three receivers to the right. The ball is left hash mark. 
Just one man in the backfield behind Higgins as he drops straight back, looking right over the middle. Has Reinhardt complete, breaks a tackle at the 40, 35, and down to the 33 yard line goes Dave Reinhardt. An 11 yard pickup and a first down for the Red Raiders. Beautiful pass, a beautiful catch. Reinhardt again ran over two or three people. Uh, great break for North Quincy here on that bad punt, and they got to they got to make some of this uh, these breaks pay off now. They just can't uh, get down inside the 20 or inside the 10 and bog down. They got to put that ball in the end zone. Well, time uh, five seconds. We may not get another playoff before this uh, quarter ends. Higgins just uh, looking around, and we do not. That is the end of the third quarter here at BU's Nickerson Field with our score Arlington seven. North Quincy, six. We'll take a 60-second break and be back with a fourth quarter. We're at the end of three quarters of play. The score is seven to six. Uh, Spy Ponders over Red Raiders. Uh, a couple of... Uh, Crazy calls out in the field there. Uh, should have been a uh, touchdown for North Quincy. Uh, one referee had his hands up, but the head judge said uh, no. And uh, there should have been an offensive uh, interference also on Arlington, and the judge said no, same judge. So uh, things haven't been going their way for North Quincy, but they're starting to get the, the ball rolling right now. Liam Higgins is uh, eight for 17 for 188 yards on the, in the airways. And uh, right now they're starting to come out. Ball's on the 33, 34 yard line to be first and 10 to start of the fourth quarter. And uh, in uh, just a moment, uh, we have 11 minutes to go in the season. The Division I B Championship on the line. Arlington with a 7-6 lead over North Quincy right now as the Spy Ponders with a 10-yard touchdown run by Andy Jones. And then Hirsch kicked the point after that. The difference in the game so far. Raftery with a North Quincy touchdown. The uh, pitch going to Sean Skane, left side. He's on his feet to the 30 and down to the 27-yard line goes Sean Skane for the North Quincy Red Raiders. Now let's go down to the sideline and John Nicholson. Thank you, Charlie. And listening to Ken McPhee address his troops there at the end of the third quarter, he said, we're in a ball game, we've got the ball, and we're going to move it. And they've come out on the first play, Skane picked up a uh, first down, and uh, the North Quincy Red Raiders are confident now that they're going to be able to score. Charlie? All right, we'll see what uh, goes here. Second and four for North Quincy, ball at the 27. As uh, Higgins has Josh Gott in the backfield again with the three receivers out to the right. They give it to Gott. And Gott is hit after gaining maybe a yard right up the middle and uh, didn't get much of anything. Roger Ty making the stop for the Spy Ponders. And now it'll be third down for North Quincy. Third and uh, three with the ball at the Arlington 26. Well, they just gave a quick handoff to the uh, tailback, but he didn't make anything. He ran right into, uh, right into a real pileup in the middle there. So North Quincy's got to come outside. They got to pass now. The uh... so they pretty much have two shots out of too yeah. far out for yeah. a field goal. Yeah. So if they don't get it on third down, uh, they'll try for fourth down. As Higgins back to pass, setting up pass play. Reinhardt has it and uh, dropped it as he had it and looked up field and dropped it at the 20 yard line that uh, very close to uh, being called a fumble as yeah. uh, reinhardt had it for it looked like a second or so and uh, then dropped the ball as higgins just threw a rocket yeah. and i'm surprised he caught it but uh, then he uh, dropped the football That's too bad because he had the first down if he was tackled right there i think he had the first down so that was a tough break but he just he just as you said he picked up his head and started to go and and uh, before he had the football under his armpit he, he caught it up in his shoulder pad and then was bringing it down and just never got it into his stomach so now fourth and three from the 26 yard line let's see what uh, higgins will call hasn't called his own number too much today let's see what happens as he drops back Rolling out of the pocket, being chased. Throws a heave down here intended for Duncan at the 20, and it is incomplete as he threw it out of bounds, and the Spy Ponders have held and will take the ball on offense. 
9.22 to go in this football game as North Quincy comes up short once again, and it will be Arlington ball at their own 26-yard line. Yeah, that's twice they've had the break, and they haven't been able to put it in there, so uh, let's see what Arlington does now. I'm surprised, I'd be surprised if they don't run this football right at them. The last time they come out, they had the ball in their own 15, and they started to throw the ball, so I think they're gonna, they, they should really, Start running this football and trying to use up that clock, too. But let's see what happens. Not Quincy's defense has got to rise to the occasion again. Andy Jones made a good play for Arlington. He was the one that pressured Higgins out of the pocket on that play. Hand off to McLaughlin, the tailback. Penalty flag is thrown, and we're going to have a call against Arlington yep. for holding as they picked up four, but uh, this is going to cost them <coughs> 10 as the call is holding against the Spy Ponders. And uh, this will move them back. Yeah, that's a break for North again. North, you can't say not the outside of those passes. Uh, they've North's been getting some pretty good calls here from the uh, stripers, and uh, they just haven't taken advantage of it. They've had great field position, but they just haven't put that ball in the end zone. So they will uh, move the sticks back. 9:17 to go in the football game. Arlington with a seven to six lead it has been a defensive struggle to say the least as the ball goes back to the 12 yard line well not many people have left the stands here that's a it's a cold raw day here but uh, everybody's jumping up and down to keep warm snowflakes now and then but i haven't seen anybody leave the stadium yet they've certainly gotten their money's worth <laughs> sure first down and 25 for arlington man in motion now he comes back the other way, give to McLaughlin, hit at the line, taken down as McLaughlin. As uh, everybody uh, came in, bottom of the pile, Sean Halpin with the uh, tackle. And uh, it'll be second down and uh, long for uh, the Spy Ponders. Good play by Sean Halpin as he came in to uh, make that stop. Hirsch brings them out on second down. Calling signals, gives it once again. Uh, this time he gives it to Andy Jones, his fullback, for just about uh, two yards. Working the middle of the North Quincy uh, line, Eric DeLore making that stop that time. And uh, so uh, very strange, Tom, as you said, uh, Arlington throwing it uh, deep in their own territory, yeah. and now they are r running the ball deep in their own yeah, territory. Yeah. yeah, I thought last time they tried to, you know, get ball control and, uh, and uh, keep that ball, then get down in good field position. But right now, of course, they got the back up against the wall. But they get two wide outs out of here. Third down and 22 as Hirsch on the draw play. Goes up the middle, breaking some tackles, and up to about the 20-yard line as they work the draw play as Bob McLaughlin doing a good job. At least he got uh, Arlington out of the shadow of their own uh, end zone. Only a gain of about five, but uh, they will be forced to punt it away to North Quincy on fourth down with 7.16 to go in the football game. Well, you can see why Bob McLaughlin is right at the top ball player. He had over 850 yards this year and 1,400 last year. He just bounced off of three tacklers and ran right over North Quincy tacklers. He's a real big, strong runner. He could play in any football team. And now the uh, punt as uh, Shea is back uh, waiting uh, Hirsch's punt. The rush was on. He got it away. Fair catch called by Shea at the 50. So that's where North will start. First and 10. They trail by a point. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Higgins is back to pass on first down, has his man complete at the 30, at the 20, 10, five, and down at about the one yard line is Pat Shea oh. for North Quincy. Oh. Gee, A 49 yard pass play from Higgins to Pat Shea, first and goal, Red Raiders. 
Boy, what a great catch he made. It was a man right on him. He just reached out and grabbed it and went to that sideline and uh, just turned on. As we say, he's got jets on his feet, Charlie, and uh, he, he just got pulled down. I thought he was going to outrun that safety man and get in that end zone in the far corner over there, but it just a one, wasn't one or two yard shot. So uh, this is the big test now. Too bad he couldn't get it in there. Shea with a 48 yard pickup. It's first and goal from the two yard line. Everybody at home, they hand it to Skane and he is hit at the line and taken down as Ben, uh, excuse me, uh, the stop made by Brian Patterson for Arlington. And well, they, they lined up in a power eye that time. Of course, Arlington had everybody up on the line. And, uh, you know, that's uh, it's a power eye's all right if you, if you got a bigger, stronger line. But, uh, this Arlington uh, defense is a big, strong bunch of kids in the middle, so it's pretty hard to run right at them. They lost about a yard on that, I think, didn't they? Yep, back to the three-yard yeah, line. Yeah. They're going to do something different. They might have to waggle out or, or uh, that they've been that power eye again. Second and goal from the three-yard line. Higgins on the play action. Fake throws into the end zone. Touchdown! Play. Dave Reinhardt with a touchdown as the Red Raiders take the lead. It is 12 to 7. They got it that they just I know that play because uh, I helped them put that in one time and uh, he just fakes that power eye in there and he, the, the uh, left end just delays and just goes over the corner. You look down and the quarterback looks at his backside and just takes the ball and flips to that flips to that left end so it paid off for them. And I'm kind of happy about that one. Just the way you drew it out. <laughs> and we and I waited because I wanted to see Reinhardt hit the ground <laughs> I know with I said, the ball. Oh my goodness, I hope he doesn't drop it. Yep, I just wanted to see it. So it is 12 to seven and North is going to go for the two point conversion. Higgins has Shea in motion. Got in the backfield. Higgins rolls out, throws into the end zone. Complete yeah, to Shea for the two. It. He got it. 14 to seven, North Quincy with the lead with 5.51 to go in the football game. <laughs> All right, well, let's. That's uh, a different, that now we got it. Now they put that ball in there. They had to put it in because they lined up with that power right. And uh, Arlington, uh, going back and reflect on Arlington, everybody in the middle. So that was a great call. They just uh, faked that power right. The, the tailback fake going in behind his two blockers, and he just looked at the backside of the tailback. Just waits a second, and the left end slides out to the slides out to the corner, and he hit him perfect. Now, as he went down, Charlie, as you said, I thought, yeah, yeah, I thought he was going to drop that ball, but he didn't. As uh, we're watching the uh, two-point conversion, yeah. oh, Shea yeah. caught it and was yeah. pushed out of yeah. the end oh, zone. Pushed out. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, good for two. Somewhere down in there is uh, John Nicholson. So, uh, John, it's all yours. Well, thank you very much, Charlie. And there is a lot of joy on this side of Nickerson Field now as the North Quincy Red Raiders have taken a 14-7 lead. Two spectacular catches, one by Dave Reinhardt and for the two-point conversion by Pat Shea. They've got just five minutes and 51 seconds to hold on, and they will have a Super Bowl victory back up to you Higgins kicks it off and it's off one of the up men fielded at the 24 yard line to the 30 to the 33 yard line and that's where Arlington will start first and 10 they trail by seven in this football game so uh, for North Quincy they will force Arlington to uh, get a touchdown and uh, kick or uh, probably uh, go for two for uh, the victory so uh, the field goal will not help the spy ponders right now and uh, just uh, if you are curious the tiebreaker rule is in effect for the super bowl each team would have one series from the 10 yard line if the game would end uh, it would end in a tie after the one series so uh, we may have a tie we may not Let's hope it goes to the red and black. First and 10 as Hirsch calls signals, gives to McLaughlin. McLaughlin breaks one tackle, gets up to the 35 to the 36 yard line, dragged down Nathan Gott, making the stop for the Red Raiders. It'll be second down as coach Ken McPhee, arms folded, pacing back and forth. The longest five minutes and 30 seconds of his <laughs> lifetime are right in front of him. Yeah, North Quincy's got to dig in now. Their defense has got to rise to the occasion again and hold them. 
the North Quincy lineman uh, telling the fans, root it up here. Yeah, yeah. I up. formation, receivers left and right. Hirsch has a man in motion. He drops straight back. Has Nobody the time, open. has the protection. Now throws it out and throws it short and incomplete. Now everybody was Donovan. covered. Beautiful job. I watched downfield. Every man in the white white sweater there was covered. Uh, beautiful pass defense for North Quincy. There was nobody to look for. He had nobody open, and he had to just uh, kind of throw it underneath, and uh, it he really just threw that ball away. Five minutes, three seconds. North Quincy leading 14-7 to seven as they scored uh, with 5.51 to go in this uh, fourth quarter on a three-yard pass from Higgins to Reinhardt. Shea with the two points. <coughs> that gave North Quincy their second lead of the game. Third down and six. Flags are thrown as Hirsch tried to bootleg around his own right side and got back to the line of scrimmage. And that was about all as... North Quincy took him down. I'm not sure. I think might they're have trying to run an guy. option then, Charlie. And uh, the penalty is against Arlington yeah. for procedure. Yeah. Referee John Magnarelli asking for the uh, North Quincy captain, and uh, that's Pat Shea, and uh, they're going to uh, decline it as... I don't Hirsch. know what happened. Do you? I don't know what the penalty... It was illegal motion, uh, motion as uh, Hirsch yeah. just... Uh, Tried to uh, turn the corner, and indeed it was Eric Delory that uh, took him down. So it now it's uh, fourth down and six for the Spy Ponders. It looked like they tried to run an option. It's the first time now, they did. They had a trailer out there with the quarterback coming down the line with a, now with a trailer. Now they're in punt formation, but they're good special yeah. teams. Don't be surprised yeah. if they fake it. One yeah. man is back. North little, Quincy. Yeah. Sending everybody up, but indeed they do punt it, and uh, Shea's going to watch it bounce at the 35, inside the 20 to about the 15-yard line, and it will be blown dead at the 13-yard line. So North Quincy with 426 will have the ball to go. They lead 14 to 7. We'll be back in 30 seconds. <laughs> They don't have uh, the kind of office that they need to. Hang on to the ball, you just heard it. That's the coach talking. <laughs> I'm sure Coach Ken McPhee saying the same thing as North Quincy with the one man in the backfield. Higgins calling signals. Nathan Gott protecting him and he throws it out in the right flat and it is incomplete. So it'll be second down. Tom, if uh, there is a weak spot to North Quincy right now, it certainly has to be in the backfield with uh, Sean Nee and uh, Mark Sinclair both out of this football game due to injuries. Well, they uh, they, they, this has been, they, they're great backs. They're not big backs. Uh, all North uh, backs, uh, they get three great backs in that backfield. But they're not big fullback types, and that's what North Quincy, that's, I'd say, the only weakness on this team is they don't have a big, burly fullback that can pick up the two or three yards when they need it, especially in a situation like this, to make them a threat to the inside. Clock stop, 4.18 to go, second and 10. North Quincy handoff to uh, Nathan Gott trying to uh, bust free. He gets over the 10 to about the 12-yard line, so he only picked up uh, just a couple of yards and uh, make it three yards so it'll be third down and seven I believe Arlington just called the timeout yes they did with 404 to go in regulation it is 14 to 7 North Quincy with the lead over the spy ponders we'll be back in 30 seconds and the coach went over to Maris and the whole team went over to Maris too so uh and Maris is a good team as it was so they uh Oh yeah, they got they yeah, they they uh no, I meant they, they pretty much banned you somehow. The oh, yeah? festival was so good. Yeah, that's one thing they don't do much around here. Oh they they let really know so like there's a couple schools in basketball where they were public schools where they had people kind of going over with their eyes and like they just they they gained up on it. They made sure they were kept kept them out of the tournament one way or the other. Well, the North Quincy Red Raiders all huddled up and somewhere down uh, in the huddled masses <laughs> at the sideline is John Nicholson. John, what's the mood down there? Well, Coach Ken McPhee is uh, telling his troops to just take it easy, to be calm, 
to play good football, just to keep their wits about them. And uh, they're going out there now, Charlie, and they're going to try to do just that. And I think uh, you might look for either that uh, dump pass out to Reinhardt, or you might look for Skahane to get the ball inside on this down. Did they get a kick? <laughs> All right, and uh, if they do not uh, get it on third and seven, uh, Higgins will uh, be punting from deep within his own territory. 4.04 to go as Higgins has an eye formation. Reinhardt goes in motion to the left. Higgins drops back. Here comes the rush. Throws it out. Has Reinhardt complete to about oh, the 19 just missed the first yard time. line. And we've got a penalty flag uh, thrown. And I'm not sure just what uh, the call is, but uh, Reinhardt shy of uh, first down yardage. And uh, we'll see what the officials are still uh, talking about it right now. Referee John Magnarelli, ineligible receiver Jeez. downfield against North Quincy. That will, that's an automatic loss of down. And uh, so that will set North Quincy deep in their own territory and it will be fourth down and they'll be forced to punt it away. As uh, Higgins went uh, back and uh, somebody Got downfield as he had to do a little fancy stepping uh, just in front of the goal line. Oh, boy. And, uh, yep, the uh, ineligible man was uh, Mike Linane down downfield. And uh, it will be fourth down. And uh, Arlington noted for their special teams. Yeah. And, uh, Tom, I'm sure they're going to uh, well, they're send gonna 10. Come. They're going to come. They're going to all come, I think. So Higgins will, uh, this will be the most important punt of his high school football he career. He's not, he had, and uh, he's not, a, he doesn't get the ball off quick because not the fact that he is motion, not quick. he takes such big steps. He's a big, tall fella. So uh, oh, they get the, uh, the, the down. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they did get the down. The down. It was, they uh, get the penalty, yeah. So uh, it'll be third down for North Quincy, but all the way back at their own seven yard line, the snowflakes fall. Higgins drops back. A yard shy of the end zone, throws it out, and it is incomplete intended for Reinhardt. Oh. Reinhardt comes up looking for a penalty. None was called as Shane McNeely celebrating, but he had, he uh, a little extracurricular there with Mr. Reinhardt, but uh, they are uh, not calling it, and uh, so now it will be fourth yeah, down, out. and uh, they will have to punt it away. <laughs> Well, I think they'll send uh, 10 guys, one safety. And you know, Higgins punt right on the end of the end zone. Higgins uh, with a quick word over to Earl Metzler, the uh, defensive coordinator, and North Quincy has got to get this uh, ball off uh, fairly quickly nice. as the referee has already blown the whistle clock with three minutes and 23 seconds to uh, go as Higgins Four yards deep in his end zone. One man back set for Arlington. He gets a good snap from center and he puts the knee down for safety. Yeah, that's what I thought they might do. Yep, yep. And uh, yep. so uh, yep. Higgins puts the knee down for a safety and that will give Arlington two points and North Quincy will have a free kick yep. at uh, the 20 yard line with 321 to go in this Fourth quarter and North Quincy's lead is now 14 to nine. Good move, I think that's a smart move. It just crossed my mind that that would be a bad move because I said everybody was coming and, the, and uh, he takes a big long stride to get rid of that ball. He's not slow, but he takes a big stride and they have a good chance of blocking that football. So I think that was a, a very wise move on Kenny's part. It might backfire, but right now it's the smart move to make. 3.21 to go in regulation as Higgins puts the knee down in the end zone for the safety. Arlington, uh, a field goal will uh, not help them as uh, they need to score a touchdown. And a touchdown would give them a one point lead without uh, any uh, extra points. So it will be all up to the North Quincy defense. Now North Quincy can uh, punt it or they can kick it off from the 20 yard line. It is a free kick and uh, Higgins will kick it from the tee as the snow really starts coming yeah. down and it's uh, beginning to collect on the uh, AstroTurf here at BU's Nickerson Field. Very hard rug from what I understand. Well, this will be a day never to forget. I tell you, if North Quincy wins this ball game, uh, will we reflect on what kind of a day it was? 
as Higgins puts in the ball and he gets it all the way oh, over oh. the Arlington players' heads. It's picked up back at the 15-yard line oh. and returned to about the 21-yard line as Liam Higgins just put that ball in the air for about 50 or 60 yards oh. right over the Arlington receivers. 20 yards over the head. <laughs> and now Arlington will have to go way back to get the touchdown as the Arlington defenders, all of a sudden that ball is by them and by them and by them and. Well, he can kick, there's no two ways about it. That's what surprised me when he missed that uh, field goal, you know, and it went wide, because he'll kick 100 of them 50 yards over that field goal uh, post every day in practice. First down from the 24 yard line, Hirsch on the draw play to McLaughlin, hit at the line, gaining just a couple of yards and that is about all. Stop made by Justin Dilks of the North Quincy Red Raiders. It'll be second down. We have three minutes to go in regulation. Clock is moving. North Quincy leading Arlington 14 to nine as the snow flies here at Nickerson Field. And as Tom said earlier, not a soul has headed for the exits. This is something to see if you had not here. Boy, I'll tell you, that snow coming down, everybody standing. Hirsch. On second down, drops straight back, throws it out in the right flat, and it is incomplete. Oh. That close to being pass interference, but uh, Tony Lachardi got away with it as he uh, pushed a little bit on Brian Donovan. Boy, you get better eyes than I have to see through that snow over there, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that far sideline the way it's coming down. Well, I'm watching oh, the monitor yeah. here. And, oh, and, uh, the, no, I'm, I, the monitor isn't even <laughs> getting it. They're pick, it looks like a, uh, a fight between uh, two polar bears. I tell you, that snow is coming down hard. The field is coming already. It is third down and nine. The ball is at the 25-yard line. The North Quincy fans trying to hoop it up. Three receivers split wide to the right for the spy ponders hirsch drops back here comes the rush he's setting up a screen it's incomplete that ball is hard to handle now that's getting slippery out there so the offense is really limited andy jones could not come up with the uh, football and now it is fourth down and nine for the arlington spy ponders and they you can hear the fans, and now Arlington is going to call a timeout, and uh, John Nicholson somewhere down in there. Uh, how do the field conditions uh, look? It's pretty well covered by snow right now. Charlie, the field is very, very slick. It is uh, completely covered by snow right now, and uh, it's going to make it very, very tough for Arlington to pick up a first down here. They've got fourth down, nine yards to go. Field conditions are not good for them, and the mood down here on the North Quincy Red Raiders bench is one of joy, one of real joy. All right, John, uh, I'll tell you what, if you keep your microphone open, uh, I'd like to have the crowd noise and uh, the punching to the pads on this uh, fourth down play, fourth and nine. And I think meteorologist Rob Gilman brought the snow uh, and uh, Jim Manning uh, at the right time as uh, the snowstorm uh, right now, uh, a bit of the 12th man for the North Quincy Red Raiders. Well, he said it would come in the afternoon, so uh, it came just one o'clock now and it's uh, really coming down, so his forecast is just about right. But he timed it perfectly, I think, for North Quincy. This is WJDA Quincy, fourth down and nine from the 25 yard line as Hirsch looks left looks right awaiting the snap no men in the backfield he rolls to the right skating around has his ball thrown out here and it is batted away incomplete the north quincy red raiders have held as hirsch threw it down long to about the 40 yard line for brian donovan but it falls incomplete and the North Quincy Red Raiders hold with 2.14 to go in regulation and a 14-9 lead. Boy, that defense has played some ball today, I'll tell you. They set these touchdowns up for North Quincy for the offense today, but uh, uh, just can't say enough about this, uh, this North Quincy team. They're, they're opportunists. They, they, uh, they knocked on the door a couple of times. They didn't get it in, but their defense, how they finally get it in? But this half is really 
Golly, this happened. All fairness has really been all North Quincy. Outside of that first series of downs when Arlington had that ball. So North Quincy's just got to hang on to that football now. Ball at the 25-yard line. Higgins handoff to Sean Skane. Skane going left side and is clock. dragged back. Uh, but I think he's going to pick up about uh, three, four, oh, yeah. five yards. We'll see where, where the officials mark it as the uh, snow really coming down. Uh, Eric... Uh, Unofficially timeouts for Arlington. Uh, probably about uh, three left, perhaps. Oh, I still got that one. So uh, North uh, with just one oh, yeah. uh, timeout. No, Arlington has used a timeout, so the uh, clock is stopped with two minutes and six seconds to go in regulation. It is 14 to nine, North Quincy, and uh, let's send it back down to John Nicholson. I think he's in the middle of the crowd and he can't hear. So, uh. hey, I did pick you up there. there you and, uh, <laughs> listening to Coach Ken McPhee talk to his players, he is pointing up to the scoreboard and saying, look, it's their last timeout. They have none left. He wants them, of course, to control the ball and to just run out the clock. So Arlington out of timeouts and North Quincy with a second down and four. The ball at the 21-yard line. The Red Raiders with a five-point lead as they come up. No wide receivers. I with a slot. Raftery is the slot man, and they give it to Sean Skane. Skane straight ahead for about uh, two, maybe three yards. Stop made by Adam Muscatel for the Spy Ponders of Arlington. It'll be third down and four. Clock moving with a minute 45. So North Quincy will take as much time as possible. Yeah. Perhaps even, uh, take even, ta even take the penalty sure, even right take now. Take the penalty now, sure. Take the delay yeah. of uh, game yeah. call as uh, they are just watching that clock go down. Uh, referee John Magnarelli looking at his uh, clock. And uh, there goes the flag, 122 left. And the five-yard penalty against North Quincy for delay of game will give them a third down and nine from the 24-yard line of Arlington. And the Spy Ponders right now cannot stop the clock and uh, some uh, long looking faces over on the far side for Arlington but uh, this one is not in the bag yet. Oh it sure isn't. Now this, this is a good Arlington football team. I guess we're of course we're a little partial over here I could say this morning Charles but uh, this is a good Arlington football team out here. They're a tough tough team. Uh, they'll never give up and uh, and it's not anything can happen with a minute to go. It isn't in the bag yet. Third down and nine, handoff to Sean Skane for just a couple of yards as he is hit and taken down, and it will be fourth down and a little bit of pushing from the Arlington side of the field. We do have an injured Arlington player, so that uh, will uh, stop the clock as Brian Patterson is uh, shaken up, and uh, so the clock is stopped for the injury with a minute four to go. Patterson, uh, the player earlier on that I said was uh, limping around, and uh, he is being attended to looking uh, at his uh, left leg, and uh, he is not faking. No, uh, no, that that is a legitimate he, no. injury. Yeah, he's out straight. Uh, now he's getting, uh, he's, he's sitting up now, but he's all right, but uh, he got a good whack there, I guess, as you say, probably on his leg, but... Uh, now that clock's down to 104, so uh, North Quincy one play, and they just got to hang on. All and right. They'll be the Super Bowl champs. Division One B champions, and uh, Tom, uh, <laughs> we go back to 1975. <laughs> uh, you were uh, an assistant coach yeah. in the North Quincy yeah. squad. Uh, I was in uh, my uh, third year of doing the games yeah. uh, when North Quincy played Woburn. They lost to Woburn. Yeah that day and it's uh, taken ah. a few years to uh, get back into this one but uh, right now it looks like uh, we're going to be on the winning side uh, of the field well i think there's a lot of happy people for north quincy and uh, yours truly and yourself uh, 
this is a great day for North Quincy uh, tradition in football. Uh, uh, we only had two undefeated teams. We uh, have great football teams in North Quincy throughout the years, but uh, we've only had two undefeated teams. And this, as you say, we we missed the Super Bowl and said so we lost the Super Bowl in '75 against a great Wolven team. Uh, uh, no disgrace. They had a great team that year, but it's so good to see these kids now come back and uh, win the old corner league, go 10 and 0 in the league, win Thanksgiving, and then come into this ball game and uh, with one minute. Uh, Less than one minute. Clock to go. is moving. Moving now, and uh, if they can hang on, uh, they'll be Division One champions. So, uh, what, what a great thing! And uh, I'm so happy for Ken McPhee and his great coaching staff. What a job they've done this year. As Higgins comes out, 44 seconds. Clock is moving. As he looks around, and uh, we'll get another penalty as they stop the clock. North Quincy with a delay of game uh, with 37 seconds to go as Arlington trying to get the ball. They will uh, get the ball unless North Quincy can uh, come up with uh, 12 yards. It'll be fourth and 12 from the 27 yard line. And uh, if Arlington uh, gets the ball, they're going to have uh, 70 some odd yards to go depending on uh, where it will be. There will be a trophy presentation uh, out on the field to both the uh, winning team and uh, the losing team as a uh, trophy uh, or a plaque actually will uh, be presented. And from the I formation, full house. Now uh, we get a whistle and the officials stopping things. Clock stop with the 37 seconds to go. And North Quincy on a procedure penalty that'll move them a little further back yeah, don't get too far <laughs> and uh, that's right don't get <laughs> too far is uh, right we'll see what uh, what happens uh, here whether they uh, just uh, run it and let the defense uh, take uh, it over they'll have to and they'll uh, have to give them a play so yep they're going to give them a play they, they said nobody wide so uh, they're just going to uh, run it into the line and uh, let Arlington have one more chance Higgins keeps the ball as he tried to bootleg right side and was taken down by Brian Donovan so now with 31 seconds to go Arlington will have one final chance at it as the ball is on their own 32 yard line 68 yards away, Arlington needs a touchdown as they trail by five as Mr. Hirsch will get one more shot at it. Some North Quincy people celebrating. Uh, already uh, North Quincy fans lining the field, but uh, this can be a very long 31 seconds. And uh, let's see what they can uh, come up with. Put them all back there. Defense. Three receivers, four receivers go to the right. Just a three down lineman as Hirsch is back to pass, rushes on, he gets it away, and it is complete. Complete and down to about the 40 yard line of Arlington. As they get down to about the 40, as the clock is stopped, as they move the sticks, it is a first down, the ball at the 40 yard line. So Arlington with 23 seconds. And let's see, do we have another uh, injury? We do have uh, an uh, injured Arlington player. So uh, the, uh, the clock is stopped with 23 seconds to go. Arlington is 40 yards away from the end zone as uh, the pass play uh, worked for about uh, 17, 18 <coughs> yards. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, they put four men out there, and uh, North Quincy only put three out to cover them, so North Quincy better get, uh, I know they're playing a pass prevent defense, but they better get another man out there and start covering. Now they get three to this side. Hirsch. Back to pass, setting up, looking just, left, looking left, has a no, receiver, no, but he overthrows no, him. No. It was Brian Donovan, the intended, down at about the 20-yard uh, line. Tony Lachardi on the coverage for North Quincy along with Keith Lentini. And there are just seven seconds to go. And uh, barring a penalty, this may be Arlington's last shot at it as they've got to put it in, in the end zone. 
as Earl Metzler and Ken McPhee talking with uh, Lentini for North Quincy, Tony Lachardi, the uh, deep backs in Arlington has uh, Who taken took the time out. Arlington, uh, North Quincy using their last time oh, out. One left. I didn't think they had one left. So uh, they uh, did have the one time oh, out. Yeah. So right. Coach Ken McPhee uses it with seven seconds to go, and uh, the a lot of North Quincy fans huddling up uh, on the sideline as uh, they are uh, getting. Uh, ready to go out and uh, celebrate. I see John Nicholson uh, down in there, but I won't call on him yet because he's trying to put his ear into uh, eavesdrop on uh, the words of Coach Ken McPhee. <clears throat> so uh, right now it's uh, it's the Hail Mary for the Arlington Spy Ponders. And uh, John Nicholson, uh, you had your ear in there. Uh, what's uh, the word? Ken McPhee is telling the players, his defensive team, to watch it on the outside. Be careful of the outside and the wideouts. Well, you never know. It could be the old hook and lateral here. The old... where's, where's the coverage out here? Well, not, too, not that deep. Well, let's see. Uh, everybody uh, uh, out for uh, North Quincy. Just a three-man wall oh, as Hirsch is back to pass. He throws in the end zone, throws it up, and it is... Caught for a touchdown by Arlington! It is caught in the end zone as Arlington oh. throws a Hail Mary and it is caught! Oh, now wait a minute! You. Now wait a minute, the oh. North Quincy players are jumping up and down. Huh? Now, you wait are? a minute. John, John Nicholson, what can you here? straighten us out down there? He wasn't in. Now, he, he could. He he made Charlie, it. it is not a touchdown. It is not a touchdown. The referee the says zone. he did not get in the end zone. Yeah, All right, that's it. Uh, North the... Quincy is, has won the game. I oh. can't believe time has expired. Time is gone. Time Cut. is gone. It is Nothing gone. The, the referee indicated touchdown. No. No, he, but the other. He indicated touchdown. He, he, he did. And, it, but the official. And, and now, now he just waved it off. Yeah. No, the official that was closest to the ball when it was caught waved it that it had been dead on about the one yard line. One of the officials, it, it is a North Quincy victory. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. One of the officials, and I'm just watching the replay up here, I I could swear indicated that yeah. it was a touchdown and that's why I well, the other referee can overrule. called it as such. And I'm Charlie, can you send it down? Yes, it's yours. Okay, we have Kenny McPhee here. We have Kenny McPhee. Kenny, you must be the happiest man in Quincy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's fitting, though. What a game to, for people to see, huh? Oh, well, isn't it great? Unbelievable. <laughs> the rule was he never went in the end zone. He never made the end zone. They didn't know where the line was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He signaled, but they were wrong. He never made it to the end zone. Yeah, it's a tough so break for all. It was not a break. I am the happiest man alive. It wasn't a touchdown. Kenny. It was not a touchdown. You heard the uh, ruling that the uh, official gave to Kenny McPhee. They could not, because of the snow, see the goal line, and they ruled that when he caught it, he was not in the end zone. No touchdown. North Quincy wins. And uh, Charlie, I'm just going to put this mic in front of Ken McPhee and let him talk a bit. He certainly has earned the right today. This year, he was our, he was our ball boy. He passed away this spring, and boy, the kids wanted for him. We won it for Charlie! Oh my God! Oh my God! Kenny McPhee, a very, very, very happy Kenny McPhee, saying they won that ball game today for a little Tommy Gilmartin, as you had alluded to uh, earlier on, Charlie. And uh, I'm going to try to keep it down here just a little bit, see if we can talk to Earl Metzler, uh, the defensive uh, coordinator for the North Quincy Red Raiders, if I can find Earl anywhere. And perhaps maybe I can even find uh, Mayor Sheets again to have him make a comment. And of course, we'll try to stay here at midfield for the uh, trophy presentations, which will be made uh, pretty soon. But right now, Charlie, can I send it back up to you? All right, John, I just need a, uh, a ruling from you. It's 22 after one. We're supposed to go to the uh, second game, 1.30. Uh, will we hold it here for a while, or uh, do you want us to uh, curtail so we can get to the uh, Hull Ipswich game? No, let's hold it here, Charlie, and we can join the other game in progress. All right, we're just watching the uh, replay and indeed one of the uh, officials
called touchdown because I saw him put the uh, put his arms up and we're watching it once again. It was caught by one of the Arlington defenders and now watch this official right here puts his arms up indicating touchdown and he was overruled by referee Magnarelli who said he did not get into the end zone and uh, it was not Charlie. a touchdown and a 14 to 9 victory the North Quincy Red Raiders are the champions uh. what a way to end a ball game I'll tell you <laughs> Charlie Yes, John. All right, we have uh, Mayor Sheets with us, and uh, Mayor, you got to be a happy man along with the rest of the city. Oh, we're thrilled. It was a great game, and it ended just like it was played, right at the edge. And I just want to congratulate the Red Raiders. They played a tremendous game, uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of hard hitting. But, you know, it was a good, clean game, and the guys played tremendously, great sportsmen, and I just think it's a great day for the city of Quincy, and we want to ca congratulate Ken McCree. I just... Uh, you know, when they took the safety, I wasn't quite sure that was a thing to do, but it really was a great strategy, so it was a great game. Uh, taking that safety certainly showed a lot of confidence in his defense. It was, showed a lot of confidence in his defense, took a lot of courage, and I think that's what's driven this team all uh, throughout the season. And, I, you know, just a great group of uh, young people, so nothing but congratulations for all of them. And uh, Councillor Colson is here, and earlier on, you and I looked at each other and said, Quincy, North Quincy hasn't gotten a call all afternoon. Well, they got they got the big one. They got the big one when it counted. I, I'll tell you, it's, uh, 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 I guess, God is shining down on uh, North Quincy today because that uh, the last-minute uh, Hail Mary thing that came in, I, I, we were all holding our breath, and, boy, I'll tell you, it was just a matter of inches. And uh, they just went a fabulous job. Congratulations to Ken McPhee. Congratulations to the Red Raiders, all the team, all the team members, and everybody that had anything to do with uh, putting this winning season on. Congratulations. It's just a great, great game, and I hope everybody watches it on uh, Channel 3, the reruns. I hope they have it. It's uh, just spectacular. All right, Peter Colson, thank you very much. And uh, they're going to be making a presentation here in, uh, in just a couple of minutes as uh, Ken McPhee is being surrounded by uh, the media and uh, surrounded by his players. And uh, he's uh, just trying to answer everybody's questions. He's, needless to say, very, very choked up. And uh, I'm making my way over uh, right now to... Um, Liam Higgins, uh, the quarterback for the North Quincy Red Raiders, and uh, Liam, uh, one happy boy today. Can, can we get you after this? This is special. We got to do this it's for Tommy Gilmartin. And you heard Liam Higgins say, "This is special. This is for Tommy Gilmartin." And uh, they are standing here, as you can see, with uh, holding up that one finger, and that is a very special tribute to Tommy Gilmartin, um, a very special boy who uh, was with us this time a year ago, and unfortunately is not today. And they have dedicated this whole season to Tommy Gilmartin, to uh, Little T, as they call him, and uh, they've won this big game this afternoon. Uh, for him and they are now pausing uh, for a moment to pay uh, just a little special tribute to young uh, Tom Gilmartin who we all uh, remember so well and uh, as soon as this is over Charlie will uh, try to talk to some of the Quincy coaches and uh, Ken McPhee's dad is, is right beside us here and uh, maybe we'll talk to Mr. McPhee right now um, Mr. McPhee you're a happy man I am today happier than I was before I'll tell you I really enjoyed this one what an ending, what an ending. What a climax, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I bet you can fry eggs on Kenny's nose right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard Ken's dad say that you can fry eggs on Kenny's nose right now, and uh, my goodness, I would probably believe that you can uh, the way um, the way Kenny is and as happy as he is. And let's talk to uh, Bill Walker, the athletic director from uh, Quincy, and he's smiling too. We couldn't be any happier. Uh, my heart ended up in my stomach on that pass. Yeah. And uh, I'll have to look at the replay. I don't know yet what happened, but we'll, we, the kids earned everything they got. They played a heck of a game, and uh, this was fun. And the people, the MIAA and the BU, have been great to the kids, and so it was super. A real exciting game this afternoon. Phenomenal game. Arlington is a great, great club, and uh, they came to play, and they gave us everything we could handle, and uh, we did well. And, but it was a great game to watch. I think everybody on both sides enjoyed it. And what an ending. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Charlie, I know that uh, you must have some questions for Ken McPhee, so if I can get Kenny to come over here, yeah. if you want to relay them through me, uh, I'll, be, I'll be glad to relay them to, to, to Kenny for you. All right. I uh, just uh, want to ask uh, his, uh, his uh, feelings, uh, uh, certainly uh, compared to uh, uh, being an assistant coach uh, and uh, being in this game and uh, being a player and having the undefeated uh, season. I'm sure, Tom, uh, you have a question or two. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ken has just said we have to get off the field because the, uh, there is a game between Brockton and Zaverian coming up uh, within a few minutes, and he said, let's get over the sidelines and we'll talk. So um, maybe you can uh, bring it upstairs, Charlie, and when we get settled over on the sidelines, I'll take it back down here. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, John. So uh, you can just jump in whenever uh, you need it. A tribute to young, uh, the late Tom Gil Martin, and also uh, to uh, a former North Quincy man who uh, lost his life in the service to his country this year, uh, Bill Deegan. Uh, this uh, season has been dedicated to the Charlie, two of uh, we've them. Got, uh, we've got Peter Chrism here, the uh, principal at North Quincy High School. And uh, Mr. Chrism, what a game. Oh, boy, I can't take any more of this. This was really something down to the last minute. It was a great game played by two great uh, great football players here today. I think the weather was a little bit of a factor, but not too much on the artificial turf. Uh, I thought that North played a, a little better uh, game in total, and uh, we're totally deserving of the win, but we play great credit to a, a very fine Arlington team. Thank you very much, Mr. Chrism. And uh, Charlie, I'll see if I can, uh, Kenny, Yep. See, can I see if I can. Uh, he's, he's got that uh, championship plaque, oh, I, I see, John. And he's uh, he's uh, showing it uh, around. And uh, certainly. Ken, uh, Charlie uh, has a, a question for you. Uh, you. You played on an undefeated team. You were an assistant coach at uh, the last Super Bowl. And now you've coached an undefeated team. How do you feel? I feel as good as I've always felt. Uh, I mean, this is a great, great thing for the kids. It's a great win for us. Uh, it's for the kids, though. You know, people are coming to me. They're asking me the questions. I'm not the guy to ask. You ought to ask the kids because they played the game and they played it hard. Both teams. You know, Arlington just played super. It was a great game by Arlington. It came right down a fitting ending because that was a tough, that was a tough play. They come up with a nice play. And hey. the, the end of the thing is they, our kids, come out on top. That trophy's going on our trophy room. And we're, we're proud to be there. What does it say, Ken? Oh, it says MIA Division One B East Football Champions 1992. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! And congratulations to you, Coach uh, Ken McPhee and. Uh, Charlie, we tried to get a hold of Liam Higgins uh, a few minutes ago, and uh, I don't know that uh, we may perhaps have lost him. Uh, most of the players seem to have been making yep. their way to the locker room, but uh, maybe I can get just one word uh, with, with Pete Zoya here. Uh, as I'm sure... Uh, uh, Mr. Pete, North Quincy. Mr. North Quincy, Pete Zoya, you're going to take home a victory, and uh, you're, you're a happy man as well. Yeah, this is the greatest thrill of my 60 years of play, starting to play with North Quincy. The boys did great. We've come from behind so many times this year. They did